Hajimashinchi. It's time for more Elden Ring. Nice. Go in the funny castle. Figure that all out. Here in the plane. The next place to go would be. Do have the forge as well as Alak and Castlefront. That also means Rivermouth Cave, whatever's in there. Castle, but there's also stuff over here. Hello! Good to see you. Go on a ruined forge lava intake. Let's see what's in here. The answer is. Some stuff. Goldsmith Living Magma. Week two, strength attacks. Think. Yeah, weak to strike. Immune to hemorrhage. That's annoying. Living magma. Uh, weak to anything? Who knows? Uh, hmm. Weakness. Living magma weakness. Who knows? Well, nothing. Nothing is said. Lucky you! How does that feel? Either way, I think we'll use the Blood Fiend's arm, even though... Stuff in here is immune to bleed. Well, to be fair, that just means I could put on a different... Infusion if I felt like it. Yeah, we'll use... This was just a normal crag void. Miku du why? What does that have to do with anything? What sense does that even make? Okay. Gonna put... Strangular... Standard... Heavy's less. Keen's actually a bit more, and... Most is, of course, quality. Let's stick with quality, then, to max out the damage. Well, it... Because I care about that kind of thing. I do. Go ahead, be mad about it. This is... By grace, if ever I see another rock... I shall find it, of this I have no doubt. The altar of the forge cannot be far. Dragons. He made a dragon-themed Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Literally zero points for guessing. Yeah, it... You were talking about that yesterday. First of all, look carefully. To avoid falling off, or... Hit them where they're weakest. Okay, so that's a special message. So it goes sort of lengthwise instead of widthwise. And it's just telling you the weakness of the golems. Try attacking butt behind. Okay. Oh, okay, so you see me. That ain't good. Let's put on our Golden Vow and... Why not Black Clank's Protection? Just in case. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can we... Backstab you? Oh, okay. Dodge. Can I... Oh, alright. Nice. Now we can do a nice... Repost into the back. Hmm. Oh, oh, the delay is nasty. Yeah, those guys are pretty tough. Good thing we had some buffs on. Well, that's nice of them. Smithing stone four. Smithing stone one. Oh, I... I don't think I turned my mic off for that hack and cough. Oh, well. What is this? Smithing stone five... A gas stone? <laughs> ruined forges, block of stone infused with hot gas. Materials for crafting items, not in the ruined forges. Perhaps these ruins use as fuel for the smithing process. I would hope. You never know, though. Hmm. Big thing is... Maybe I should just make a Roblox game or something. I was thinking about that yesterday. 
Okay, so the magma is easy to take out. That's good. Unlike the slimes and the tears, they're not especially resistant. I thought about it, yeah. Forest, so to speak, giant. Oh, they're referencing Forest of Fallen Giants for DS2. That's fun. Ah, I kicked my mouse cable. I... I'll put the keyboard in. Don't need it out right now, even. Get a little closer then. Let's put our starlight back on. Well, it... I want to make a good action RPG, ideally with multiplayer. And the easiest way to solve server issues is to just have something or someone else host it. And for better or worse, the best way, quite frankly, is probably to just make it in Roblox and use their servers. I don't know. It's been a while since I did anything coding related, so I'd have to relearn pretty much everything. And probably, well, almost certainly learn to just model stuff in Blender. Because there's some other cool game engines like the Gato engine, but... Which has its own server support, but that's the kind of thing I'd have to host. The dream would be some kind of, frankly, slightly janky MMO. With a lot of, ideally, Souls inspiration, sort of. You know, a multiplayer-focused Souls-like or something like that. I think that could be cool if done well. Okay, so... We're over there, can we backstab? Yeah, we can just backstab. Oh, well, I... Okay. Now... Never mind. This is strange. Huh. I. It's fully charged at the back. I am confused. What is even going on here? Maybe I just missed my chance for the one backstab or something. I don't know. Well, that worked. Guess their hitbox is finicky. Huh. It's really just these golem smiths in here. Huh. It is interesting that- oh my goodness, who just sh Oh, okay, so they are really just the silver tiers, they even have those lance attacks. Oh my goodness, I missed- you're kidding. Come on. Fully charge. There we are. Okay. Smithing stone. I wonder how Bolt would do against them. Come on. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by options? As in people al already trying things like that? I I'm aware, but they all have incredibly m predatory monetization models. And part of me wants to make one that is not that. Just out of the principle of the thing. Okay. More gas stones. Another smithing stone. And they're tiny smithing stones. And I know you can get in the deal suit really early if you try, but it still feels goofy. Considering that just buying them outright is better. So what what's coming up when you look them up? What names are coming up? Hmm. Let's see. Any enemies in here? Friend ahead. Somehow I doubt that. Get our blessing up. Oh, well. We need to juice up first. Get some healing there. May as well put a black flame. Okay. Come on. Let's fully charge. Oh, alright. So the regular backstab would work a bit better, but I'm not sure you can actually backstab normally while it's standing up. Yeah, it does not seem like a mega or backstab is an option in that case. Well, we can... Oh, and you can only repost from behind anyway. It's really strange. Oh, th th those aren't Roblox games. Those are just action RPGs. I've not heard of Asteragos, but I've heard of Returnal and Death's Gambit. 
Returnal is a PS5 exclusive, I think. Or at least it was for a while. But... Death's Gambit is also a 2D one. It's actually a side-scroller. I don't know anything about Asteragos. Sounds Greek, maybe. So anyone over here, or... Smithing Stone... Okay. You can, you're allowed to be lazy. Gaston, Greater Potentate's Cookbook, that's... Ah, Hefty Volcano Pot, that's the... That's the furnace pot that we want to use. Yeah, we got... We need more embers of Mesmer. Use those to take out some of the furnace golems. There you go. Hefty Volcano Pot. It's searing cloud of heat versus just a cloud of heat. Continuous heavy damage. Not powdered volcanic rock, but scorching gas rock. Gelmir versus Forges. It, it is interesting how a lot of the items are just slightly differentiated versions of materials from the base game to ensure that you can't use base game materials to grab them. It... Frankly, I understand why, but it still feels more than a little silly. Okay. The, bi the big thing that sticks out to me in terms of their monetization models is that a lot of those games ha are PvP focused with a permadeath system, which is incredibly predatory as a model. It's worse than Gasha. It's even worse than FIFA, which is just Gasha but worse already. Hmm. I guess it's nice to get some more smithing stones, but again, we can just buy them now. My question is, what's up there? Is that ladder going to go down that way, or is it entirely separate? Well, because the entire point is... The only way to progress is by permanently ruining other players' progress. Or at least sending them right back to square one. And it makes things incredibly zero-sum. And it's also the manifestation of de developer laziness. Because a lot of it is to make it so that they don't have to program enemy AI. Because if the enemy role in the game is fulfilled entirely by other players, you as a developer do not need to make real enemies, so to speak. So is that just going to lead back to the start, or... What is this doing? I don't know if I can jump onto that. That is... But maybe I could get there from the beginning? I can't even really tell. But, as I was saying, it's kind of a lazy developer tactic. Because it means that you don't have to really make enemies. And one of the things that they often implement is... One-time revives for a paid currency. Which is crazy, crazy. So now he's coming over to me, but I think he also focuses a bit on a living magma. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, put our Black Flames protection again. Come on. Just go around back and... Oh, I didn't know you could fall like that. Okay. Actually, the jumping heavies are the best way to knock you down. Oh, come on. Well, they are pretty short-ranged, too, which is... Oh, shockwave. I did not expect that. But, can jump around, more or less, and hit you that way. Okay. Wait, so what goes down here? Oh, but I presume... Right, lava is not an insta-kill. That's right. I actually forgot about that, because it's been a while since Gomir. Smith's Rift Dagger... Dather, dagger engraved with a smith script. Throwing blade. Reduce mass. Enhance the effect of the smithing arts. Allowing this weapon to function as a throwing dagger for all attacks. Once thrown, the dagger instantly reappears in the wielder's hands. Incompatible with Ashes of War that grant skills with an affinity. I... This could actually be my piercing option in Wu of the Pata. That could be fun. Piercing throw. Throw armament with a powerful spin, causing it to bore through foes. When using the skill, the armament can be thrown further than normal. 
also pierce through enemies. Hmm. Interesting. So you can do that entirely from range. Much to think about. Of course it is a pure pierce weapon. Let me see. First off, a lever. Presumably, this is just a way to get back up if you miss that jump. And I think that if I make that jump and go up top, it should lead me to a fire elemental hammer, which, unfortunately, I don't think I'll really be using. That jump seems a little tighter than I might like. Some of the lava guys in here. Nice. Taking good damage. And... Gonna shoot that flaming spear at me. Ooh, well, I thought I dodged that. Time was off and I... Okay. Come on. There we are. So we've gotten up here. Where the lava fall starts. This is where we started to... See that message from before that told you to attack the back of the golem smiths. Let's put our starlight back on. You. And this is... Wait. Examine altar. This is... Oh! That just gives you the anvil hammer and the ancient dragon smithing stone. That's fun. Just get it right there. Another one of those. And we also got colossal weapon, smithing art, spears, anvil hammer... One of the treasures of the Ruined Forge is a tremendous hammer that incorporates as its head the red-hot anvil of the forge. It is said that the anvil shape is inspired by that of an altar. Oh, that's cool, or wise. That long ago it was indeed used as such in rite and ritual. Unique skills, smithing art spears, slam the red-hot anvil into the ground, sending up countless spears as it is pulled out. Spears disappear instantly. Disappear. Okay. Fire. But it's not primarily fire, so I wouldn't really be able to use it. As a source of melee fire damage, I might like to level up those fire spark perfume bottles. That said, I will be able to get the frenzy flame one as well, and that might be better. Let's try these out real quick first. And see, his face is all red. Slam it down, you pull it back up, make some spears. Try out those daggers, because I do want to use those daggers, actually. Th not a dagger, but a throwing blade. As you see, all of its attacks are projectile attacks. And if you two-hand them, you get multiple. I guess my question is, can I buff this? You can't buff it, but the point is just pure piercing damage. And also from range. So I think I'll level this thing up. This is incompatible with affinity ashes of war. But I'm not sure if that means all ashes of war. Either way, I think I'm gonna level that thing up. It's not amazing. It's not even good. But it'll be fun, and I'm bulky enough, have access to enough buffs of various sorts, that it shouldn't be horrible. No matter what, really. So, check those Ashes of War. Smith's Grip Dagger. Oh, but you can make them... You can make them fire. So wait, they said incompatible with Ashes of War that grant affinity. Skills within Affinity. Okay, so any... Wait, what? That works too, though. Did they just lie to me? <laughs> well, at least the situation is better than it sounds, instead of worse than it sounds. But man, if that isn't a fumble. Okay. Let me... Purchase a few more rocks. Couple more. One more. By the game. The description was incorrect. What are you trying to imply here? 
Something bad about me. Something about, you know, sun, finally the tables are turning. Either way, given that they are ash warable, that means they're a normal weapon, because there's not a single somber weapon that actually have ashes put on them. Suppose my question is, I would presume quality is going to be my best option? Either way... I wish they were enchantable, at least. I wouldn't say there's much of a reason for them not to be, but whatever. They have very, very slight scaling on every stat, actually, which I do like. It's very, very slight, but it's there. To reflect the fact that they're basically inherently magical weapons. Okay... Because I know what you're trying to do. And the fact that you say that your goal is to make me insult myself proves the point that it was intended to insult me in the first place. It's not cute. So... Let's test out the affinities on here. Suppose my question is, is something with natural faith... Affinity. If I put okay, putting heavy on it. Heavy just gets rid of dex. It doesn't eliminate scaling other than dex. Okay. So be it. Bloodhound staff is actually good there. We'll take it off Potter. So my question is: This is two hundred eighty-seven at base. It's worse. It gets rid of the scaling. Two hundred seventy-six. That, 192, and 197, so that is the best. Let's guard boost, though, which is interesting. It's not like I'd be guarding with them. Okay, cool. So that's not amazing damage, but again, not the point. Put some light on here and try these out against enemies who are weak to pierce. And range is just nice to have. It might have been that blood blood fangs blood fiend's arm. The thing about this place, about the DLC, they didn't add any weapons with higher dex requirements than exist in the base game. Or strength requirements. Cloth armor, ranking bell soldiers. Giant Crusher and Hannah Millennia remain the highest strength and dex requirements. They added new spells with higher intelligence and faith requirements. But, that's not the same. Okay. This is actually real nice. How do you jump like that? Come on. Now it, it's not amazing in terms of damage, but being able to deal pure physical quickly from range is real nice. Armor worn by soldiers who serve Mesmer the Impaler, a ragged cloak is draped over rusted mail, but this chess piece features a shadow tree motif. Gold has been used for its engraving, a small consolation to those forced to wage a war without grace or honor. Okay. Perfumer shield won't do much for you, and... Goodbye. What were you aiming at? Who knows. Okay. Hit up the rest of those annoying perfumers. Come on. But just being able to engage them from range with a light weapon is real nice. Except we don't have any interruption ability with that. Hmm. But it's nice to know that this is an option. It's not a bad option. Said range isn't crazy, but it's good for getting rid of trash. It's basically like the shuriken from... Sekiro, actually. But... The range actually falls off rather quickly. Which is interesting to me. Either way, the place we're going now is... This spot up here. There's a ledge over this way, and presumably another mausoleum? Question is who and what's going to be in it, and then after that we got the river... Might not actually make it to Castellensis. 
Eh, it is what it is. But this is decent enough piercing damage at range. So it's a decent tool to use for those soldiers. Especially since going from range means I don't have to do group fights. Maybe I did want to use the base skill. That said, I'm pretty sure the base skill was not in Ash of War. Ashes of War. Throwing blades. So I don't think. Maybe there's an Ash of War for the special throwing blades one. And to be fair, there, it's not much less damage for throwing blade. At default versus at quality, but still. Because its basic skill is a longer ranged throw. Which would be nice to have. But, eh. We can just toss daggers at these soldiers. Hello. Toss. Keep on tossing. Oh, shields up. Not great. But, dodge out of the crossbow. Knowing when you have range. One, two, three. And even the rolling attacks are ranged as well. It really is a purely ranged weapon. It may not be winning any prizes for damage output or DPS, but I like what it's capable of. My question would be, how's it going to backstab? It can't backstab like any dagger. And, oh, that didn't kill you because that wedge is actually right there. Wouldn't have expected that, though. Oh, and the forward movement eventually throws us off the ledge if we aren't careful. Almost feels like a lightning spear. This is down to that little pawn that we got to yesterday. And the session before that, which was weeks ago. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing down there, really. Seek down, by the way, good luck, behold the clue, or... Wait. So is there something here or not? I guess we'll have to check. Hmm. So there were the bats over here. But I think... Bolt of Grand Sacks is still probably the best way to eliminate them. It's really long range, and to be fair, ar arguably other than the speed, it's better because of... Wait, what? Huh? You're kidding! What kind of death is that? It's so stupid, and now I need to farm. Rune arcs. It... Bolt doesn't even throw you that far, and as you see, I can't even use it now. <laughs> because I don't have the dex rack. One great rune which makes make the farm slightly better. It was pretty funny. But... I did not expect the tiny amount of forward movement. I didn't even really realize there was forward movement at all. Just throw me off the cliff. Okay, well. Back to back to the cave. Let's get three at least. That that was a really, really stupid death. <laughs> I didn't like that. So, we're going to equip everything that gives me more item drop chance. Five more arcane. Also, five more arcane. Let's arcane at 50. Then we can put on Albinora Cat. Okay. Yeah. And get to farming. Hello, hello. Interesting. Good fast run, but the lack of light here is... No, to be fair, I could solve that problem by just casting Starlight. Yeah, sure. Thanks. And nobody is robbing anything. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The one thing is... I could, in theory, use consumables to boost item drop chance. The issue with that is, they go away on a teleport. 
so I'd have to actively run all the way back up top. And that would make it inefficient unless I was willing to pop one every single time. And then I'd probably need a form a bit to do that. So... Uh, the boost from the arcane isn't even all that much for drop chance in the first place, but whatever. But this is the best way for me to get rune arcs. Just the rats die quickly, at least. Come on. Maybe the katana. Maybe. Just trying to figure out what would. Both be fast and have good range. Probably the katana. Yeah. I me when I try to optimize killing rats. This is the logical conclusion of playing Elden Ring this way. Still, still a medium low. It's nice. Thanks. Slash. Oh, that's a poke. Hmm. Slightly annoying. But we can see whether they drop something or not via the particle effect. It's actually a bit slower than Bloodhound's Fang, because you can see. You have to raise it up a little before you swing down. Hmm. Okay. But there are no longer easy ways to get Rune Orcs. There's more soul to few, but we bought all of his. Uh is sad. And I suppose it's back to the blades. Okay. And again, another nothing. <laughs> Bloodhead thing was probably the best option, but I put it in my box and I don't feel like getting it out. It it's retired. Retired weapon. Cut and okay. Hope that dropped something that time. It dropped just a normal golden rune. Oh, it was, it was three. But whatever. Oh, but that spin attack is actually... Good way to kill both of those rats at once. I'm getting so desperate with this. Okay. Maybe I could actually use the lantern tool, maybe? I don't know. That's a good way to take them out. Come on. That is not purple enough. Sad. Uh, in the end, I suppose I could accept fighting without rune arcs. That'll probably be good in the end when I probably run into bosses that are spicy. Really spicy. But in terms of just time efficiency, be able to ensure that I maximize my chance at killing on a first encounter is also nice, even if it does require rat farming. Hmm. I really do like the backhand blades, and even the throwing blades. These are better, though. Come on. Cut up. Well, I do know their positions. I've memorized the rat positions. Light or dark. Rat farming in the dark. And no items that time at all. Okay. There's one big rat, three individual small rats scattered around the cave. Then two that come in a bit of a group. Okay, so it seems the strong attack reaches a bit farther forward. Okay. Thanks. Over there. Take ah, uh, just golden runes. Oh, come on. There we are, and more nothing. <clears throat> Five minutes, no rune arc. This can only be a good sign. Okay. Cut you up. Cut. Give me. Really? Okay. Max out, max out my item discovery for everything that isn't just consumables. Uh. And... Well, we got cave moss. By accident. Uh. Thanks. I guess. 
So... It's fun to do that scissor attack. It's like I'm a bug-type Pokemon. Classic. You know, maybe this is the kind of thing you do off-stream. Maybe. Or maybe you just accept not having a rune arc up. Or leave it for a boss fight or something, but... Uh, uh, so useful! It's so nice having plus five in every stat when none of your stats are especially good. Especially since Vigor at the levels I'm at is actually not diminishing returns. We we're finally getting more drops, but it's all golden runes. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> but it feels like Titanic level hubris to have it be an issue of more or less trying to spam the funny lightning spear and falling off a cliff because it pushed you too far. Where's that rat? How that okay. Imagine if one of those rats killed me. I I would actually just give up on life at that point. Come on. Please. Please. The Elden Ring experience. Killing rats in a cave for Runarks. Okay. But people don't really mark down locations of Runarks on the wiki. But it makes me wonder if there are any more in the DLC. So the DLC has a few items that actually mimic the effects of Runarks. Or can be used in multiple ways, and the secondary usage is activating rune artifacts. And maybe those replace them entirely, but they're also highly limited quest items. What's well, that? There's the Iris of Grace and the Iris of Occultation. Basically, dark eyes and light eyes. And there are two NPCs on which you can either use an Iris of Grace or Iris of Occultation. And if you get them all and do all the quests, you're going to wind up with two things that no longer have a quest use that play through. So they're just in there. They have that functionality so they're not totally dead slots. But it raises the question to me of, does that indicate that they didn't put any other rune arcs in the DLC? Or, who knows. That was when I kind of wished I had a glider, honestly. If it hurts them so much, they can make invisible walls. Maybe. Come on. It's no rune arc at all. It's nasty work. Whatever. Thanks. I okay. Give me a rune arc, please. I know what's in that mausoleum. I'm, I'm pretty sure there isn't a better rune arc form in the DLC anyway. Big thing is you just go down here, you teleport out, in, teleport out, go back. It's just rats. But even something more annoying to kill, as long as that had a better drop chance, so it would at least be more interesting. I guess I could just go for PvP or helping people out with bosses, but I don't know. It's an idea. Honestly, the, the DPS power of heavy armor and backhand blades, well, not just for the defense, but for the poise, would be hopefully pretty useful. Maybe. Hmm. But I would say maybe I should opt to not use a rune arc, but I've already, when I get them, but I've already popped one to make, hopefully make the farming slightly faster because of the additional arcane. Uh, not getting any at all is crazy, and of course it is just complete dumb luck, but still. Uh, we've maxed out stats so much, and there's only so much that I can even do. We're at 50 arcane, 54 arcane, which is more than halfway to... 
pure maximum, even from base level. Well, that map isn't entirely right, but... Uh, okay, we finally got one. Let's get two more. I want to be able to pop more in the case of death, but I don't want it to be like this. In terms of piercing damage boss fights, I think I might use back, I mean, the daggers on slow bosses. But for maybe even fast bosses. Slow and fast, big and very small. But in terms of things that are sort of medium speed, I want to get the Mesmer Soldier Spear and then use it as a deflecting tool as well because it's got good guard boosts and of course piercing is really good for guard counters because it's usually going to be counter damage attacking during enemies attacking frames which piercing damage just gets an inherent damage bonus too. could be better. Really could be. So what I should probably do is go back, find my rune stain before I just die, and lose it, because there are a lot of runes in it. Get the Mesmer Soldier Spear, spear level up the Mesmer Soldier Spear, and content myself with that. Hello? Uh, at least we've more or less optimize this process. We'll never reach the heights of killing all three. I mean, getting two in a single run down here. So in theory, it would max out at six. So I don't imagine that they can ever drop multiple at once. But the theoretical optimum would be every single one of them dropping a rune arc. It's good that you can at least teleport out, given that a lot of those other dungeons don't let you do that. Hmm. Come on, come on. Scissors. Cut up. Cut you up. Nice. And where are you? Thank you. This is... Truly the good life. Killing rats in a dark cave without even turning the lights on. Golden rune. Rat. Rune. Come on. Uh, we need two more and then I'm comfortable going back. Two, of course, also just... Want to see what's down there with the bats and go down there without actually... Falling to my death. That would be great. It really did come as a surprise to me. That they would just... Draw me down that way. It... Makes for good physical comedy, I suppose, but... I feel as if... Attacks that move you forward should have some kind of a ledge check. Though, to be fair, Elden Ring is probably the game in which that would work the least well. Given that it has, due to having real platforming, much more uneven terrain. Just as a matter of course compared to the other Souls games. Hmm. Well, then. Smithing script, Smith script hammer. I mean, anvil hammer could be cool. Level, but okay, there we go, we got one. Just one more to go. Hopefully, it won't take much longer. We'll see. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hmm. Right. Nothing to do but keep farming. Got up. Got up. And you drop more runes than normal, not that it means anything as a literal starting area rat. Okay, and it's a golden rune. Do I have two? I guess I could work in a pinch, but 
Let me pop one freely without having to worry about going back and farming, because on the last one, that's when I go farming. To ensure that I use that stat boost for something. Especially since it does help a bit with equip load. Not that dying to the rats here is something I'm particularly worried about. But it's still nice. Okay. Okay. Of course to keep these scissors out. That blade cross attack is something that I believe the Fox also kind of has. Fox being a somber stone weapon I'll get a bit later that is a bit like the backhand blades in that they're a paired weapon. Can't be infused, but they can be enchanted. They can be good with bloodhounds, but it depends on how their damage is in comparison. Because these are quality. It's the best damage option for them, too. At least on my silly non build. But given that the Fox is going to be a pure dex weapon that I can't spec into dex. spec into balanced strength and dex. Situation might be a little less ideal there. We'll see. Uh, it is whatever, I suppose. Come on, come on. Come on. Over there. Nice. Okay. What I do wonder is how many more Shadow Tree Fragments I can find before taking on Castle Enzis. Because that would be real nice. We are at... What's well, level 4 and it goes up to 15, I think? I think it might be Spirit Ash that goes up to 15. Shadow Tree, I think, is 20. Don't quote me on that. Okay, one more Rune Arc and we'll be free of this accursed place. But it's just completely random and even with all this we have... Just slightly over doubled item discovery, which is nice, but it's not making these drop like candy. A doubled chance that's more or less 0.5%, I think, is still just a 0.1% chance. And there's nothing like a pity system, so... Even if, say... On average, you would get one every 100 kills or something like that. That doesn't mean that missing 99 means that the 100th one is going to be a rune arc. It's completely disconnected. Epic Gambler's Fallacy moment. Let there be farming. Uh, yeah, in terms of the rest, it's just... Up here, and that's it. <coughs> Though, to be fair, who knows how long that'll end up taking, especially if there's a really annoying person in the mausoleum. Never know. I know that one of the mausoleum ones is a dancer with a curved sword. Paired curved swords. But, that can mean a lot of things. Hmm. At least Blood Fiend's arm should be good at taking out the big crabs in that river. So they're not bleed immune. It's not as crazy overpowered as it was for patches, but it'll still be a competitive option. Even if Giant Crusher is higher base damage and is a bit heavier. But the last draw that I gave Giant Crusher against that Giant Crab last night... Well, that's pretty nice. But of course, that's not the same as... Just having a bunch of Bleed Ox. Blood Fiends is definitely more of a boss weapon in the first place. But that might not be horrible. The question is just what's going to be in that river cave. Thank you. So in theory, if... I play my cards right and get a little lucky. Should hopefully be able to fight Rolana today. Maybe. 
depends on how much longer it takes to get the final rune arc I feel like getting, and if I have to do it again. Or really, if I decide to do it again. Is, frankly, a bit more accurate. Especially since, in the end, it's not as if I need a bolt of ground socks here. I could always use the daggers on the bats. But the difference between 35 and 40 vigor, well, 40 vigor and a buff, to health isn't crazy different, but I prefer to have every advantage I can get instead of not. Especially as someone who isn't all that amazing at this game. Okay, one more. Give me one more. If I were gambler, if I fell for gambler spells, yeah, I'd say one should probably drop around now. But again, completely disconnected from previous chances. Even even shiny Pokemon, shiny Pokemon, have some kind of pity to an extent. Well, if you're using something like Poke Radar, Diamond and Pearl, that is, I mean Platinum, that is. <clears throat> Or the Poke Raider equivalent in Auras. And you can get shiny charms and stuff. Two eggs. Whatever. Give me another rune arc. I feel like they have been stingier than usual for me. I would not say I'm normal. As I would say it's probably more like that I just got exceptionally lucky the other times, but still, it's not a great feeling. At least the Forger swung. Should probably put Bleed Affinity back on the Blood Fiend's arm. <laughs> Alright. Please, please. Cut, cut, cut. <clears throat> Let's see what item that was, and it's another white instead of purple, which means nothing. But it may as well pick them up. Just to have more runes. Could equate to more levels eventually. But runes I can put in a level, so to be fair, more levels at this point won't do all that much for me in the first place. I'm mostly giving them to weapons. But again, I do like... I like the new weapons. Especially the blades. It... And I do like the fact that... I waited into the, until the DLC to... Well, go to the DLC and get the weapons in the DLC. So they are good enough that... Maybe not... Maybe trivial is the wrong word, but they would have made... Base game a little easier. Some very strong options bound up in the DLC. Please. Please. Uh, oh. <laughs> hello? Hello? Cut. 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 But, uh, just surprises me, that's all. Would have thought I would have at least three by now. Given how quickly they were dropping before. This honestly takes me back to the covenant grinding I did for Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2 technically has the ability to covenant grind too, but it's so much worse that it's actually easier for- it was easier for me to decide to just not do it. For Dark Souls 3, I was- frankly, at that point, I was fully rushing to get to Elden Ring faster anyway, so... I didn't feel like running there. Well, I guess that would have helped with levels too, but... The grind in DS3 is also, frankly, a lot worse. Dark Souls 1 is probably the most 
grindable covenant game. It's two of them just want humanities, which are easy enough to find, and the others don't even need that many for their rewards. For both... Well, for Warriors of Sunlight, it's... I think you still need 30 in total. Maybe? But for Dark Moon, you only need 10. But I didn't check the wiki, and I thought that everything was 30 or 50. Before I did a bunch of Covenant grinding and Dark... Covenant item grinding in Dark Souls 1. And I did it all. And it was actually when I streamed Dark Souls 1 that I truly beat it for the first time. After two playthroughs where I either got busy with life or deliberately died against the final boss after getting him one hit away from death so I could do the DLC and then again got too busy to actually do the DLC. But that time, that time I actually did not only the final boss but also just the DLC so it was nice. One more and I can leave. One more and I leave. Please. <sighs> but. I want to get Mesmer Spear. A lot of things I want to get. Also, the Dry Leaf stuff. Falks. But if you're Dry Leaf, is going to have to wait until Shadow Altus. Get that, I believe, to fight Dry Leaf Dane. We haven't even met Dryleaf Dane yet. Is a bit silly. Alright, alright. Give me... Please, just give me another one. There we are! Okay, we're free. Kill the last couple just to check, and nothing that time. So we go back here. To Castle Front. Right on in to take out. Put the knives back on. Not the stone sheath sword. And it's strike, because it's in stone. It's funny. So full bull goat. Full goat. Retreat. Plus two. Favor, which is right there, because I got rid of the smaller ones, which honestly makes it a little harder to see. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Okay, alright. So... <coughs> Let's go back to where we were. <coughs> ah! I... It's definitely a dust issue in this room. But the lack of any kind of Stagger on that is definitely its primary weakness. Hmm. But can do it on <coughs> horseback, which is fun. Hmm. That could be a funny way to do things, actually. Just stay on horseback and ride around them while tossing daggers. Now this. It's a bit silly, and there are some slight angle issues. We aim so exactly while you're on horseback, but... Well, more accurately, only target so much on horseback. Still. So. Okay, there's gotta be some kind of dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, but... The fact that you can jump and jump back while throwing. Just gradually move a bit backwards. Is nice. Kinda avoid. Oh, but we have less range than a crossbow even. That's annoying. Hmm. Oh. Did that home in at all? Might have. Yeah, I. The jumps are nice. Mm, but you can't really strafe is the thing. You have to actually roll if you want that. Okay. 
Well, it's not horrible, but it's not perfect. Okay, so like the chest plate, it's a shadow tree design. Okay. And simple, easy range. Go down there and not die this time. Ideally. Oh, it would be really funny if I screwed up again. I wouldn't like it, though. Can we break that? Oh, we sent it flying by moving into it, but it didn't break. And now we can hit that skull and break it. Hmm. So in that case, we will get those runes and try not to fall. I wouldn't say it was unlucky as much as just stupid of me. But that was still a really bad way to go out. Anything down here? And I guess it isn't anything. Behold the crab. Here. I... Okay. That's just where all those bats were. I... Guess this was nothing other than a way to get down here quicker. Fair enough, I guess. Well, the joy discovery. Kinda. Get rid of this at least. Keep moving through. Okay. It. The daggers are fun, but they're not good. That's the thing. Strong attack is rather non-committal. Well, not non-committal, but not really a problem to throw out, especially since you can jump backwards while doing it. For a keep-away play style of it, is actually pretty nice. Hmm. But even at max upgrade level, it's not as if it's going to be winning any awards, so to speak. It's just... Very plainly a gimmick weapon. Which again, gimmicks are fun, but... They remain gimmicks. Hmm... Oh, but... The jump actually staggers, but that moved you a lot farther ahead than I would have expected. Why did those not hit? That actually staggers. Very, very nice. Okay. That's definitely how I should be using these things. They're quick enough that the initial stun taken for a heavy attack is not exactly a problem at all. Hmm. So down here, this root. Hmm. I wonder what this is. What was that mausoleum? And of course the river. Thank you. Jump. Jump back. Jump back. I. Okay, they don't have bleed. Saw a bit of a blood effect, so I was confused. But yeah, no bleed. Come on. That did kind of break your shield briefly, but. Clearly, it's not really the intended way to do it. Take your actual weapon out, please. See that for a shield break is interesting, but come on, jump, jump. That is a bit silly, and it takes lo longer than I might like, but it's nicely non-committal. Even do that while jumping to the side. I get the feeling that these are weapons best used while jumping. Because a lot of its weaknesses are negated by the properties of attacking while jumping. And use it to get a bit of movement and create distance. And also just jumping attacks are good. Strong too. Hmm. I 
Doesn't say there's any bleed ox, but... Oh, it's probably a counter hit effect, cause, because they are piercing. I wonder why the damage seemed weirdly... inconsistent. Luckily... Seems like a decent way to actually... kill those birds for feet. Maybe. Come on. And... Not that time. Oh well. Hmm. This little promontory over here. What else can we find? Okay, come on. And... Uh, no homing and no... Tracking. It doesn't lead its shots automatically. Yeah, it... It's good, but not perfect. It has its own... Defined weaknesses and strengths. And of course, dual wielding is pretty unambiguously a better way. Little pseudo power stance you get from a paired weapon. But of course, unlike power stance, a paired weapon, well, this one can't be enchanted, but if it could, you would be able to enchant both at once. Honestly, especially given the fact that they do have inherent, though incredibly minor, intelligence and faith scaling, would have been nice if they could be buffed. They could even decrease the damage of the buff, like they did with pair weapons in DS3. So it wouldn't be too abusable, but it's too much no matter what, I suppose. Eh. Come on. Jump. 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 Okay. And that was not counter frames. Oh well. I- What? It, what? How am I- The camera screwed me hard there. It sucked. Okay. The little bit of fence getting in between me and the camera prevented me from actually maintaining lock, which was a very awful surprise. A swift spear. Oh, that's throwable, right? Wing thrust, and you're just swift. A metal bodied spear of extremely lightweight make being the result of a sophisticated molding technique, capable of swift consecutive attacks. How's that gonna work? So... Ooh! That's a fun moveset. It's only on the light. It seems. multi it's cool, though. I... With that triple, I would bet it would be real good with a buff. But yeah, I'd, I'd bet it can be buffed. Though... It's got an Ash of War slot. Hmm. Is that about going? See what this is. It's a couple of smithing stones, alright. Hmm. Can roll over that, but again, it's just a tiny crap room. Back out. Kill a few more soldiers. Hello, hello. Stick up to you. Could have gotten a backstab, but whatever. Come on. Come on. Toss. And there we go. If I get that shield break, I should just toss a couple more immediately. Instead of trying to be funny with it and continuing to jump. Because I... I don't think that landing cancels end lag. Hmm. Yeah, it's end lag is pretty consistent no matter what. There's nothing really... complicated or at least kind of techy there then. 
work our way up around here and see what's on this ledge and go over this way. This spot's actually pretty big. This looks a bit like an elevator, so maybe to get up to this portion I need to find my way through a little dungeon? I don't know. Let's see what happens. But, verticality of the area is very nice. Got some shadow undead here. <coughs> ah! I wonder what your deal is then. Thin beast bones. Couple more of the birds. Okay. Yeah, that piercing. Well, I could maybe line things up so I could kill both at once, but it does not seem to be an option right now. Oh, hello. Hi. Jump out of the way. That oh, you can hit me while jumping. Not great. But it's actually not a bad way to deal with the dogs. Hmm. Seems to be good place to diverge. Okay. Come on. Aha! Uh -huh! And you can line them up by killing one and then the other. Piercing or no piercing. Because you throw two. That's fun. Got Hawk 1 and Hawk 2. I didn't say that. Hello. Get that backstab. Ooh, one shot. So suppose they do have sort of melee tier damage on a backstab. Even if normally they're just doing these weak throwing attacks. At what, a curse blade is here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Let's... Oh, my... And a dog, too. Really, really... Oh, what? What? You've got to be kidding. Put the backhands back on, then. I need to put away some weapons. Where are you? Is that the dog? The curse blade's there. Don't like that. Two, three, four. I oh, I oh, all right. Can I dodge? I okay. Ah, not great. I didn't even know you'd be there at all. I what? I that didn't hit. Ah. Hitbox is actually way too small. Come on, heal. Ah. Maybe the daggers would actually be good here. So this is just nightmarish. Come on. Okay, and couldn't interrupt that at least, but should have some blood hands. Blood flame. Okay. Uh, hate you so much. How are you the way you are? Okay. One, two. Dodge. Oh, what? Luckily, you can just DPS them down. And the bleed got you while you were away from me. Cool. Random curse blade out of nowhere. It's still just evil. I hated that. Well. It's life sometimes, I suppose. So where's that dog, though? Got a few more of these undead. Is that? That's the same dog. Okay. Strong attacks would have been better. Oh well. Thank you. That's. Is this and then put blessing back on. Hmm. Really is a situation. How many more of those shadow undead are going to be around here? None that I see. But really, just Chris Boyd out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Well, maybe the Chris Boyd would say that I came out of nowhere. Probably not, because the entire point of those enemy placements is that they do kind of ambush you. So over down here is... An outlet to that poison pool. Let's check that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, another Mickle across. That's fun to see. Might even mean another upgrade for me. Maybe. 
It is interesting that Blessing level gets reset between playthroughs. Given that the enemy difficulty scales just because it is New Game Plus anyway. I... They, they could have not done that. <laughs> they could have chosen to not do that. But there is a side of grace here. Interesting. And is that... Tilier? It might be Tilier. The baby of the group. I don't really want to rest here right now, is the thing. If that's Tilia, I think he is sleeping, maybe. Pillar Path Cross. Shadow Tree Fragment. Car Words Coalesce, I abandoned here a part of the flesh of my body. Hi. Yes. Lady Letta spoke of you. Hi. Another tarnished. Guided here by the Mikula the Kind. My name is Tiolier. Tiolier. I'm tarnished. And here on kindly Mikula the Count. So sickly. So, well, here's to new beginnings. New beginnings. All right. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not, not much good at anything at all. I'm as weak as a kitten and thick as two planks. Ouch. I've always been this way since the very day I was born. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Poison. Poison. Sorry. Well, that's fun. Buy the thing. Oh, we can buy the deadly poison perfume bottle. Perfume bottle customized it by Celia. Texture is perfume powder producing deadly poison. There were some techniques to perfuming arts that employ poison. Upon learning of this, Tila threw himself to the mastering those techniques, and he made them his own. Skills with arcane. For some of the damage, and probably mostly poison, build up there. Deadly poison spray swings the perfume bottle overhead, wafting perfume powder of a deadly poison over a wide area, including on you. Poison shall dance upon the air and pour down in quiet calm. Hmm. This is a lot of things. Um. um just give me the word if you need any more poison. I guess I will. What can I help you with? What can I help you with? I think she will give me a quest, but not yet. Purian Blood Virgin. Basically just... A new kind of sacramental bud. And we don't have nearly enough fragments to level yet. How sad. Go back in that direction. Since things have not respawned. Hmm. Back up this way. Find what this is. This should be some kind of mausoleum or dungeon, I would presume. But who is in it is a different question. Main thing to me is... Still need to go back and get the Mesmer Spear. Shouldn't take all that long to get. Oh, we got more eels. Fun. So in that case, let's position ourselves as stealthily as possible. That did not kill, sadly. Okay. My question then is, how effective would the knives be against the eels? Not particularly. Okay. But backhands should be good. You know, why not? Let's buff ourselves up to make this go a bit faster. Thank you, thank you. Wood flame for a buff that lasts a while. Nice! Dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Thanks. I, right. to be fair, probably shouldn't actually be walking on. Hmm. I. Right. my question is, is hitting the head best? Might be. Hit. Hmm. Pound that down. Luckily, they're easy enough to stick. Uh, come on, put your head down. Please. Oh, uh, you're just spitting. Okay. Uh, we were too far away. Hard to judge distance here. Okay. And you don't deal any more damage that way, sadly. Okay. Luckily, they're not intimidating, really. Okay. 
we can just keep on continuing our deadly dance of eel slaughter. Okay. Huh. Wonder what else might be around here. Nothing really. Just eels. Always want to look for items. And you know, just randomly spawning broken rune skulls, I suppose. It is interesting that they have a special, slightly bigger version or equivalent of just the rune plus rune one. To compensate for the fact that things are a bit spicier here. Come on. So blessing back. To take a bit of damage. Golden Vow. And I suppose, yeah, Flame Protects. Black Flames Protection. Flame Protect Me and Black Flames Protection. Interesting. Come on. What if I... Put a Jump Attack, Jump Strong Attack, be a one-hit kill. I... Did I get some kind of debuff from that? I can't tell. Come on. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's all that much of a difference there. Okay. So, cut you up. Couple light taps is still good. What if I fully charge this heavy? Uh, not much difference, actually. Oh. Thank you. So, this should be it. That lingering hitbox is funky. Seems like it might hurt stamina regen, and who is moaning? Is that Egon? Yeah, that's Egon. Actually missing a leg too. Hi. Bale, vile bale. Got some dragon statues. Oh, terror incarnate! There is life in me yet. I will soon feast upon your heart. Not actually though. Mark my words. You too shall know fear. Speak your truth. The exquisite pain. So when are you gonna talk to me? Okay. Maybe you got a rest nearby? There is a side of grace right here. Which is right by that other mickle across too, Tilia. Guess I just want to make a warp easier. Pillar pathway point. Oh, so is that just the pillar over there? Maybe. Hmm. Found another spot to branch out of. More or less. Not really much here. Hmm. We're chilling. In that case, I want to see. Take out another one of those groups of birds. Thank you. Can we hit multiple? It's so satisfying. No feet. Huh. Prison swamps down there, and that's the ledge that goes to Fort of Reverman, Shadow Altus. So woods are down there too. Okay. Guess we could rest there and see if resting does anything to Tilia. That's an idea. But of course, we also have Mesmer's Church Spear. Let's rest. And the eels are back. So, can we talk to you? No more. I am sorry. Oh, so he had to sort of. Come no closer. Get over his rage. The horror. 
I'm not there. Savage me no further. No plan on it. Goodness. I just say you're okay, but he's clearly not. He's the mistaken identity. So is he blind too, or just because he's cowering? Mm. I think we just have to reset the area a few times for him to change his track. Huh. So, anything new? Nothing new. Okay. That's just just Egon. Needle Knight Letta, Red Moon Freya. Sir Onsbach. So what do we do to make him wake up? Sir Onsbach, Needle Knight Letta, Red Moon Freya. It's Hornset, Moor, and Tillier. Oh, but Hornset's gone. Oh, presumably because we killed Dancing Lion? Maybe. Maybe. Hi. So what do we gotta do to wake you up? And clearly I don't wanna just hit you, but... I'd probably just kill him right away anyway. Maybe. Let's just see what's up on this pillar path, which... Actually seems to mostly go all the way up. So we can see what this is then after. What we get if we drop down here. But the question is what that is. Hmm. Honestly, maybe I'll keep going this way. See what happens with Ego. Hmm. Keep saying, oh, the horror. Oh, are you better? Seems to be up more. S speak, speak your truth. Pain, the a pain. Okay. So maybe I just need to come back later. And he'll have a bit more of his wits about him. All right. There are a few of these grave birds right here. We can very easily just projectile them down. This would take me back down to sort of great side plane. Not actually. This would take me down to that spot though. Hmm. What do I hear? That okay? It's just another grave bird. Okay, come on. Gonna come over? Think. Yep. It's a little too late. Could not stop me from getting ya. Alright. And flight pinion, and that's it. Oh well. My question is anything on these gravestones worth getting? It does not appear to be the case. I. Let's try it anyway. It's long enough that I feel like it'd be an interesting experience one way or the other. How deep does this actually go? This might be more useful than I expected? Eh, probably not. Still. No damage at least. Why is it always up? Good movie. Hmm. At that takes you back down, everyone, for it's lava intake. Okay. Well, at least those gray birds go down quick. Hmm. But it really is just... How does one forcibly rouse him? If at all. Uh, uh -huh. 
It's a good performance, but when it gets repeated every time, it takes a bit out of it. Right, belly a rat in. Tower cloaked in shadow. So what is going to be done this way, then? And then the question is, what could I do, other than go to Ensis, before Ensis? How locked off am I? Either way, is that, is that a ghost limb dragon? No, no. Just can't parse the geometry. Actually, I guess terrain would be a more accurate term in this case than geometry, but what difference does it make? It makes none. Uh, let's take out more birds. I okay. Huh. Sneak up on you is not really a great idea. I, that could have killed me too. If I'm just trying to kill birds, I can I just keep the. That actually makes the difference between medium and heavy load. Huh. That cuts it real close. Let's go up and around here and... Okay, so eventually, presuming this ledge links you back to the larger portion here. But if that's the pillar path... I wonder what this is, because it looks like a mausoleum. It's not the same as being a mausoleum, but it looks like one. So, back on the horse. I... Wait. Oh, Ancient Dragon Man. Okay. Suit yourself. I... Where is he? All the way over there. Okay. Let's put up some buffs. Golden Vow. And... Black Flames Protection. And, you know, I think- oh, this is the wrong weapon. Okay. Dodge. I- worry. Uh, ooh. Can I- I cannot imagine that this will be all that good against something they can actually dodge worth a damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dodge. Okay, that actually not horrible. Depends on your dodging capabilities. Now, this is not a weapon to use against player-type enemies. Oh, that spear I could have tried deflecting you. That would have been fun. Hmm. Luckily, it's not as if you're really a particularly dodgy enemy. Oh, right, okay. Cool. Oh! It's dragon communion, but it's not particularly strong. Hmm. Maybe this is what wakes up Egon. Wouldn't surprise me. Come on. So, staying close. Maybe a good way to do this. Hmm. It's a fun way to do things. Being able to tackle jumping without much trouble is fun. Come on. I... Uh, distance I can keep is real good, and there you are. Goodbye. Ancient Dragon Man has died. Invader Vanquish. Not a bloody finger or a recusant. Just an invader. So, will that wake you up? I hope. That... Did not seem to do it, maybe it requires a reset, but... There we are, just random encounter. Finished. Cool. I wonder if backhands might have actually done the job a bit better there. Maybe, especially since... Pretty sure he wasn't really wearing clothes, so... Slashing would have been good, but... It's a new weapon for me. Which means that using it is good just for the sake of having fun. Having a good time. Whoa. Wondering the path I want to take through this place. Hammer back on. Put those axes away and I should. 
So I'm not going to be using the axes for anything. It... I don't use axes at all, really. I feel like I should, but... Never have I been in a position where there was a particularly good axe that I wanted to use and felt like using. I was in a position to use, because... The Dragon Slayer Great Axe in Dark Souls 3 is really, really good. But I didn't have the stats to use it at all until the very end of the run. Even then, that was only with equipment to let me use it. Well, I mean, a talisman. I mean, a ring, a ring to let me use it. I couldn't use it all otherwise. Hmm. It's up there. Hi. That didn't hit. These horse attacks are stupid. Okay. Well. How much else? Here, oh, another grave burden. Feels like things are lagging right now for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just memory leak. Maybe we're close to something of note. It's probably just a memory leak. Well, is there anything on top of this little hill or not? Check and see. Or mushroom. I... Can I platform my way up top? I... Can. Okay. So what is there? Let's kill a few more. It kind of surprises me that none of them seem to be dropping. The foul feet, though to be fair... The mutation is meant to be a sign of blessing. Maybe given that the urge tree isn't here. That might be why. They might actually have a lower drop rate. Maybe. Too soon to say. But. Doesn't look like there's anything of note up here. You can get up here. By doing a bit of silly horse platforming. We're actually just going here. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't require the horse. Just make it easier. Okay. So we'll see what might be over here, maybe? With that ledge. Oh, but can I reach that ledge right now, even? Yeah, I can. Okay. You know, I thought for a second that might, that might kill me, or at least damage me a little, but... The fact that the entire range between no damage and instant death is so compressed in Elden Ring that they increased the damage you could fall without taking any damage, but not did not increase the damage you could fall before just instant death is amusing and- Oh, okay. That's where the Grave Bird was. Or more accurately, there was a Grave Bird there. Okay. But I was falling and I couldn't put anything back on. Annoying. Come on. Just... Doesn't seem to have followed me as zealously as I would have expected, though. Hmm. Where are you? You're over there. Hello, then. Hello. Oh. Jumping this without a horse is a non starter. Can I. Thanks! And you really need that. Anti undead buff, I guess. Oh, because with a buff, it's pure holy damage. And also... Projectile with huge anti-undead bonus. So it's doubly bonus effective against those gray birds then. So when and how? Let's go up top, or... I want to see what happens if I go down those gravestones. What is this? Is this a dungeon? It seems so. Nice. We'll mark this and come back in a bit. Hmm. This is the... Dragon's Pit. Oh, in that case... The ancient dragon man should be in here. Is that golden already? No. Okay. Thought for a second the boss was right there and this is literally just... 
an entryway and a quick teleport back there for that fight. Should Dragoman is weak to. Is he weak to? This is the boss there as well. Should Dragoman. We could have physical and lightning. Well, um, weak is still lightning, so actually spamming. Golden Order Seal for some reason. Summing Bolt of Grand Sacks would probably be a good way to take him down? I would say so. Well, maybe that's what awakens you on. I don't want to just look it up, but. I know that it's a good anti dragon weapon to the point that I might use it against Bale. It's only meant to be a dragon slaying tool. Dragon Hunter's Great Katana that he has. Come on, birds. Yeah, I don't think they're dropping those pinions. Oh well. I mean, dropping the feet. They're just dropping pinions. And no item that time at all. Huh. The main thing is, based on the appearance in the map, I thought you'd be able to get up top here from there, but you can get up top here from there, but not here. That ledge is deceptive. Looks as if you'd be able to get up top to the upper part of the plateau, but it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, I think actually we can just go to the dragon's pit right now because I'm falling down anyway. Let's see where these stones take me. The answer is nowhere in particular, but again, you know, you want to check. It's fun. It's back to the gravesite point again. Right over there is that shack in the church that I went to earlier and got just a painting. Which is funny. Okay, Dragon's Pit. Pit. Enemies in there are. Oh, there's a lesser magma worm. Giant beast skeleton. Weak to presumably the holy hammer. Okay, it's skeletons and a lesser magma worm. Which means. Just keep our pest threads on hand for that situation. Okay. <coughs> I'm getting all sneezy. Alright. Oh, but... In that case, how many... Got one gold firefly, so I do have one, but I should make... I should go collect some more gold fireflies after this fight. Hello, giant beast skeleton. Let's see how this shakes out. Hi. Oh, right, because they are just farm Azula ones. That's right. Why do you have fire? Makes no sense. I, what? Okay. All right. That is interesting. But what I really should do is put this hands. Well, that's heavy, though. Sacred Order Dagger. So that whenever I feel like it, I can cast Sacred Order. And buff up. Keep it in the other hand. Buff stuff up. More anti undead bonus. Grass. Still know something incredible. Yeah. Oops. So. Keep moving. Oh, hello, other dude. Thanks. Alright. Dodge. And 10k damage just casually getting pumped. Pumped out. That is evil. Hidden path ahead. Not even true. Let's see where more skeletons are. If they're here. Wicked sort. Wicked sort. What do they mean by that, then? Well... 
Keep our buffs going. More skeletons there. Let's put this back up. And switch this back up. Switch it back on, and here we are. Oh my goodness. That's so strong. <laughs> Being able to casually one-tap by stacking the undead buffs. Mm -mm, bolt. A ritual. Wonder what that brazier is even for, then. What is this? Shadow Realm Ruin and Okay, hello. Thanks. Just snap you in half. Yeah. When I got hit by the pure holy projectile, seems to have taken a bit more damage from that. I wonder if that drop down is any different, so to speak. Not where we'd go if we just followed this path. I wouldn't imagine. Sacred Order. Sacred Void can be used right now. Okay. Yep, this is the same spot. Different route and a route back for one. Hello. Sacred Void. Don't have any light right now, and that's a bit annoying, but. Just going. Oh, goodness. Bolt. More Sacred Void. Another Sacred Void on you, and. Crimp that fire breath. Where's this gonna take me, though? Starlight. Sacred Order again. Thanks. And a Sacred Blade. I... That didn't hit. There we go. So nice. So what is here? What is up this way? Not a shortcut, presumably, but... The architecture actually reminds me a bit of... Oh, that's where that one is. Okay. Let's take advantage of our room here. We just need pestilence for this. Buff up pretty heavily, hopefully. Think flame protect me would be good here. Need that first. Flame protect me. Now we just spam pest threats. On that western magma worm over here. Hello! Good to see ya. Hi. I, okay. That did not hit anything. I... Dodge. I... Oh, you are... Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Come on. That actually deals pretty good damage, but I... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Maybe this isn't quite the way I want to do this. I... I feel like Radon's might actually do me better here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this and... Oh? Well, not if you move. Okay. I'm gonna take that on the face, more or less, but I... Uh-huh. I think we can... stay over here and... take advantage of our distance advantage. Yeah, you can't hit me here. Okay. Oh, well, right, we need more of that. Come on. This is such a bad joke. Bomb on me. All the hits on the head are real good, too. Even more damage while you're stuck like that. Oh, but they actually miss more easily that way. Okay. So my question is just, what is your drop going to be? Okay, just Dragon Heart, Ancient Dragon, Smithing Stone, that, not bad. Not crazy about it, but could be much worse. <laughs> but that did take some FP out of me. Not resin, that dagger back on, Sacred Order dagger. Simple enough. Clint's Ox Bolt might be annoying there, though. So that just drops you back there. It's a little shortcut. We've got light streaming from up top, from nowhere really geographically. Yeah, because that 
can't just drop down in here from there. It'd be funny if you could, honestly. But you can't. So I suppose we'll continue. Down into the rest of the pit. Don't have any more dudes to fight. I don't hear any more skeletons. Though, of course, the chances of that being entirely true are low. Try jumping. Maybe not. Praise the left. Zoom away, the other one will be praise the right. It's definitely going to be the boss route. Try left. Try left. Oops. So, don't you dare. Bravery required to head and then seek down. I... Just in case. Let's put Grodzox back on right now. Let's see what happens. Maybe it would have been good to buff up. Oh, well, we're... They even gave us a boss bug anyway. Oh, nice. And we... Don't have that much to use in terms of... FP here. That's annoying. Alright. Reflecting hard tier is there. Guard tier's good too, but be entirely forthright. We'll be keeping distance, and we could use it to block, but it's not gonna be a great idea, frankly. We'll see what happens. All right, ancient dragon man. Oh there. And just toss. I oh okay. Not doing that much damage to me, at least. I. Mmm. -hmm. I could manage this if I was fast with it, but. Dodge, and. Yep. Speed. Ooh, what? I. Maybe. Maybe I would like Blink Bolt? Maybe. I don't know. Toss it. Oh, come on. Nasty. I. What? Okay. Dodge, and so much worse. At least there's an end lag there. Hmm, maybe this isn't the right time to do this. Maybe. Come on, use your weapon art. Or not. I... Uh, trading there was nasty. Alright, okay. Come on. Okay, now we can do that. Well, I, I didn't think you could dodge. I didn't, you could, didn't think you would dodge that. I... Maybe Bolt is not the way to do this. Maybe. Well, it... We got good range. Hmm. Dodge. Try that again. Maybe being close is not horrible there. Okay. And... Really, I just did not expect it to dodge. I would you dodge a normal lightning spear? Or? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We have some turning radius issues there. Okay, that is definitely part of my problem with that. Also, just not having enough stuff there. Okay. Huh. Oh, and you have some healing too. Well, it. We can outrange you rather handily. At least, hmm, we're all out of buffs. I, oh, fun. You know, maybe we'll just poke you down with a funny lightning spear. It's not a bad way to do things, I guess. Hmm, so we can't buff up anymore. I, oh, please, didn't expect that. We're out of buffs, all out of healing. I should have found a better way to... That poking... I thought we'd have a poke on that. Whatever. Please. We need to quit out. Okay. Luckily, it's not bad, but... It seems to me that if I'm using Bolt of Grand Sax, I should just be poking with it. Hmm. Alright. Oh, but in that case, I may as well actually deflect it in. I may as well use the deflecting hard tier as intended. The annoying thing is, of course, to go all the way back. Because there isn't 
a way to... Oh, that's evil. It's really evil. There's no way back. That... Yeah, if you're down here and you lose, you're just screwed. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a really nasty piece of work. Well, I should have just tried to fight it out of them. I dodge. One. Oh, I. Uh, yep. I literally can't do anything other than just die here. There's no way out other than die. That's fucking stupid. I don't see why not. But, no way back. It's a one way drop unless you win. <laughs> Some balls to that, I guess, but can't say I like that. Uh, okay. Fizz protection. These are all the spells we got going for us right now. Okay. Alright. And dodge. Can I... Come on. Hit me! Ooh, nice. Oh. Ooh, okay. Deflect here is real fun, but... Ooh, and the counter damage is nice. Okay, this is actually incredible. But, healing issues. You'd be better with that timing, and that's a good time to... Oh, well, I... Never mind. That sucked. Okay. Dodge. Can I poke? I... Hit me. Hit me. I... Oh. Deflect. Deflect. Oh my goodness. Okay. I dodge. Can I hit or not? Nice. Oh. Whoa. I hate you. Hmm. Spontaneous. Spontaneous guard. What? Okay. This is actually quite tough. Hmm. Oh, I... Uh, what? I'm not spicy enough for this. You know, we have good guard counters, but... Still. <sighs> Stancing. Stance break. Uh, I... Can't do this. Just can't do this, can I? We can try this again with more healing, but I guess what I should just be doing is just poking him normally. Not a good source of healing, and can't quit out because he can't teleport out. There's nothing like home, homeward or a homeward bone. If you can't teleport, you just can't teleport. It's actually really funny because that is a way in which this game is. A lot more hardcore. In all the previous Souls games, because... You don't have a way to... Dip as easily. Out of a dungeon, at least. And normally, that just makes things stupid. Because it means if you just have to run all the way back, but... Making it arguably better to die than Bale is... Very interesting of a choice. I don't like it. And frankly, I don't imagine that was something they specifically had in mind as a way they wanted things to end up working. It's the way that things ended up working. And that's funny. We just have to poke him, I guess. Huh. To physical and a lightning. You know, maybe I'd use blood fiends, but it doesn't even have the right... Infusion, because I forgot to put the other infusion on it again. Annoying. Okay. 
Okay. This is painful. Okay. I didn't know you could jump all out of the way of all that. Come on. Uh, luckily, our range is good, but limits to how much we can dodge. One. Oh, really? Come on. Poke. Just slowly poke our way. Figure out what is. And like should ensure you. Okay. Can we poke? Oh, really? Really? Okay. Use your spells. We can preempt you. Mm -mm. Okay. One. Single hits are. What? Huh? Really? You're kidding. That makes no sense. Okay, well. Do you have to put Blessing back on now? We can just r run around waiting for buffs to come back. Kill yourself! Why is this so hard? This isn't even a late game area. This isn't even late in the DLC. Why is he... Whatever. It... You have to be smart about this. And I... You can't get out from here. There's no way back unless you kill him. Dodge is even Grand Sacks, which enemies normally don't even do. I dodge, but that poke is actually useless. Mm -hmm. Dodge, poke, poke. Okay. Damage is good, but should hopefully be able to. Nice, but it's still not even much more than a normal hit. Dodge. Can I... Uh, uh, do what? Okay. You annoy me. Okay. One, two. You can decently interrupt your attacks, but not perfect by any means. Can we stop you from healing? That would be ideal. Mm -mm. One... Two, three. Okay. Uh, just uh, one. Okay, our range is good, but it's not even all that good. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, heal. That heal. I. Stupid, stupid. One, two, three. We can interrupt your. What in the goddamn? Duh. Okay, you only have one at least. That's nice. Two. Huh? How are you resisting? Huh? Is Golden not that significant in terms of damage? A damage here? Or... How? Dodge. Not... Hmm. Okay. Did I manage to reverse your direction, or one? Okay. Uh, I just... What is up with this fight? What is up with this guy? You have... Weirdly good boys. Okay. The magma just... Keeps you free of me. D what? Maybe I should be using jump attacks. Yeah, I probably should be. Maybe. Yeah, I... Yeah, probably. Dodge. Can I... Good enough range. Okay. Hmm. I feel like a Dragoon. Don't hate this. Bonus is lower than I would have expected for the counter damage. I... 
Oh, ooh, nice. That was adrenaline. Oh, what? I, okay. Come on. Heal, heal. I, what? Gotta be kidding. Slam. Step. What? No. No, no, no. I can't die here. We can't die here. One more, one more. I, final, you utter piece of... Go away. Okay. Try and hundreds of eight katana. Wait, where's my rune stain? Did it? Wait. Huh? Huh? Wait. Oh, I lost those runes. That's stupid. How? how I thought I picked them up. I'm so sleep deprived. I, I shouldn't have even gotten on tonight. Whatever. This... Where is this gonna send me? Is this the coast? It might be the coast. Huh. Some blessing in. Oh, in the end again, I don't need many more levels and just here to chill. That's where this takes me. Got a side of green, so it's good that we didn't take the teleport back. This is... The Dragon's Pit Terminus. And what am I going to find at the Terminus of the Terminus? Guess we could put some light on. Also, I'm... This is actually a good weapon, especially for dragons, because of Blood Watch Buildup. Encounters Great Katana. Great Katana with spawns of gravel stone along its blade, wielded by the ancient dragon man in the dragon's pit, has an anti dragon effect. What's a dragon? Formerly a dragon came in war, the ancient dragon man was once arbiter that was worthy to devour the dreaded one. Unique skill Dragon Wound Slash, designed to hunt colossal dragons, the skill quotes the arm meant the jagged gravel stone aura before performing a high jumping slash, charge the attack to also fire off the aura. Huh. That's cool. Check that out. Fire it off. Apparently it's very, very good against Bale. Makes sense. My question is, is this Cerulean Coast now? Or... Where has this taken me? And where is the map? Oh, weak foe. No map ahead. Oh, interesting. Why is always dragging for stuff edge and then... Come on. But, foot of the Jagged Peak. So this is just... That's just how you access Jagged Peak. I... It'd be cool to use this sword to kill all those dragons. That idea greatly appeals to me. But... Need some leveling for some... Losing that many runes is stupid. That was real stupid. I thought I picked it up too. But I clearly didn't. By the way, it's not as if... Again, it's not as if I need a runes for much anything anymore other than leveling up weapons. Let's take this thing to plus 10. It's a decent quality weapon, too. And of course, there's a nice anti-dragon effect, even though Slash is not really good against dragons. Let's... Oh, we... It's a Somberstone 1 that we don't have. It's funny. We have a good amount of everything else except... One and three. Okay. Let's buy those and make this thing stronger, but I think there's a good chance I go kill Bale before Castellensis. It would be interesting. But I guess I would have gotten a level up with those runes, given that there's nothing else that particularly stands out to me in terms of things I should be leveling right now. It'll be a while until I get access to dry weave. It's a good weapon to use for what I've got. Well, that's right, Mesmer Spear. Okay. And this is gonna get rather strong. Compared to Great Katana though. Dragon Hunters. This is ever so slightly better. It's heavier though. And, of course, anti-dragon effect. 
That's 613. This is 645. Though to be fair, the scaling might make a difference. Hmm. Yeah, no map ahead. This takes you there. It's interesting. I wonder if, ba if Egon will have something to say now. Killed the dragon man and got that katana. It's funny that it is a katana, too. Six hundred... Ninety-six... Nine of three versus... Eight sixty-six, and of course one has a funny projectile and is also just good against dragons. Blood red and spiky. What a weird thing. Cruelty. I wonder how I'm gonna make him do stuff now. It's got a really cool scabbard, too. What I could do real quick is test it out against Dragon Barrow Dragons. I wanna see real quick how much damage it'll do if I. Send that beam at its head. But, yeah, we got Jagged Peak accessible now. I honestly think I might go there. But, Mesmer Soldier Spear does stick out to me. Pun intended, kinda, given that it is a spear, but. Yeah, this is really just more Graveside Plane rather than Dragon Barrow, sadly. Hi! Oh well. Anti dragon, and how much is this gonna do for the direct hit? Come on. I. That probably did a bit more. Dodge, thanks. Hmm. It. It's a good anti dragon tool. But. But honestly, bet the threads will do better. It said Bale has a weirdly shaped body. Not really past thread spotter. It's actually about as good. Hi, Kozu. Testing out weapons. I got a weird new katana that is basically specifically an anti dragon tool. It's this big leaping slash that fires an aura that. Just aim it right at a dragon's head, and we even got a nice repast. But I got it from a really, really annoying boss fight. How are you doing? This ancient dragon man. Also open up the way to Jagged Peak over here in this Dragon Pits Terminus. Frightened and why? What in particular could get you frightened? You okay? But, in that case, I think I'll do some farming real quick for that Mesmer Soldier Spear. Oh, okay. Then, why, why are you frightened? I feel like that was a bit of a bait and switch. Well, let's max out our arcane and our own discovery. And dig on some dudes. Also, probably... Put blood back on the thing. I... You don't need to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it. That's... Your right as a human being. Oh, let's use... Tools... Okay, we got a lot of silver fell feet. Let's go over and find... Generally speaking... If something happened to me that I found funny, I'd use slightly different terminology. Soldiers should be over here. Spear soldiers and- Oh, we got quad fiends. Oh, alright. I- Are the soldiers even here? There are two mesmer soldiers with spears. I want their Mesmer Soldier Spears, but it's not you, plainly. Oh, 
truly one of the great tragedies of our time. What? Huh? Just casually one-tapped? What the hell? Fuck this game. This shit sucks. Did they get stronger somehow? I'm really sleep deprived right now. I'm really sleep deprived right now. I haven't gotten good sleep since starting my job. Ha ha ha, good for you. Okay, but... I thought there were soldiers with spears over here. I came here to farm the goddamn spear. But... That doesn't seem to be the case. Shut the fuck up. With all due respect, shut up. Okay. And by all respect do I mean literally none. What? Why can you casually just two-shot me? Streamlabs really, really sucks in terms of managing chat. Can't see anything. It... What the hell? Okay. The fact that you can't pop out a chat as its own separate box like you can in OBS is it's such a pain. Okay, but the other side. Where is. Where even is. At this point, I can't afford to use Runarks for anything other than just boss fights. Okay, that's not true. I have to, though. But I don't know where the Mesmer soldiers are. I don't give a shit at this point. That weapon's not coming to me. At least not for a very long time. There were two in the same spot with the Great Spear, and I want that Great Spear. More through inside of Grace, and I can't get there right now. It's not available right now. Yeah, that's a that's an epic Italy moment, I guess. But literally, where is? The Mesmer soldier. With the spear. As they were around the castle, they literally couldn't be anywhere other than around the castle. But I don't see them. And were they here? No. Plainly not. Where is my Where are they? The ones with the spears. Everything around here is infuriating. Way too strong for no reason. It's not even a matter of just not having the blessing fragments, because I've gotten the blessing fragments religiously. I've explored everything I've been able to, but... Even in a full set of the game's heaviest armor, they're casually one-tapping me. I mean, casually two-tapping me, just standard enemies. It really just makes you wonder. So how is this supposed to be done? I... You don't have the spear. But I remember there was a group of two. And both of them had the spear. But I don't remember where. 
Because I don't get any sleep anymore. <sighs> Not here, right? I just hate this. Uh. There's one with a spear here. I guess I could just try it, but... Just really hope that one of the spear guys is gonna give me his spear. Fucking go to hell. This armor's too heavy for me now. It's just... It's, it's not even fun. It's also just that I have equipment based around increasing drop chance instead of increasing defense. That does make a difference, but it's still just... The damage output they have is far in excess of anything reasonable. To be fair, Dark Souls 3 DLC was as stupid. But still, it's... Really? Really? Huh. I have an okay chance of dropping this, but I... Kill yourself! That really hurt my hand, too. Fuck! It's just, without... a rune arc, I don't have the durability or damage output for anything, really. It's also just... There are a lot of things that I go from being able to equip or wear to not really being able to equip or wear with that rune arc off. But... I... I might just quit early. Honestly. It's no longer fun. FUCK! just I really don't like my job I don't really like having a job <laughs> like there, there 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 is no such thing as a good job there are bad jobs worse jobs and acceptable jobs there is no such thing as a good job because you would never get paid to do something that wasn't inherently unpleasant I mean, it really is just a sort of... Is this all there is? And the answer is basically yes. Okay. At this point, I may as well let them kill me. It's the fastest way to get that guy to respawn. And it's... A 2% drop chance. Well, n no one enjoys their job. N nobody actually enjoys their job. They might enjoy some of the things tied to it, like the fact that in America, you can't get health insurance without a job without paying out the ass, and that's by design. But, or they might like some of the people, but that's really a Stockholm Syndrome situation almost all the time, but... What? Kill yourself! How? Yeah, it... I'm starting to like this game less and less. And that's 20... 200,000 runes down the shitter. I should have always bought the smithing stones first. Fucking hell. But it... Rune arcs are legitimately too good. And the game is worse for it. You know, embers were nice to have. Humanity was nice to have. Human effigies were nice to have. Even human effigies, which literally have your health, 
were honestly less relevant than rune arcs. But you feel like a fucking cripple without them. Like, if you don't have a rune arc active, you're so much weaker. And at this point, it's just... It's either kill rats or do multiplayer. And multiplayer is not really an option. My build is not good enough. And that's on purpose to really win fights with the way that level-based matchmaking works. Nobody's doing multiplayer help. It... My options here are very limited. I'm gonna get this stupid fucking spear and then just kill a bunch of rats. It'd be really funny if there was some weird condition that made it so that the ones here that carry the spear somehow just don't actually drop the spear. Okay. Alright, uh, what? Huh? Impelling thrust didn't hit? That's bullshit. Uh, uh, it it should drop eventually. It should what what I what what I bet that dropped. I bet that's it though. It'd be funny if that was it and then they killed me. It's just a smithing stone. Go to hell. Well, I mean, it's on purpose. The biggest issue is legitimately just the lack of vigor. The typical player would have much higher health at this point. Generally, unless you have 60 vigor, you have no business doing anything. And that's for base game, not even talking about DLC. And it... My Vigor is 41 with a Rune Arc up. And I might have an almost entirely defensive talisman set up most of the time, but that does not mean much. Okay. I, okay, and... What? What? If that was the spear, I'm killing myself. The Axe Soldiers are just way too strong for no reason. It... They all buff up, and then they just fuck you. It, in theory, they should have a 4% chance of dropping that spear now. And it's a good weapon for Pierce. It's probably going to be my best option during this DLC period. Because the Padas are not really a Pierce weapon at all. And... Okay. Thanks. I, what? Oh. Oh. What's your goddamn deal? Well, the issue is that I'm only trying to kill one of them. If I kill them all, that's a significant... That's a huge waste of time. I mean, in the end... The only one that's dropping the spear is going to be the one carrying the spear. It's not... This is not an RPG. I mean, it's not- it's not a JRPG. It's not like all of them can drop the spear whatever weapon they have, it's... They only drop the spear if they're holding the spear. And even then, good fucking luck. I... Where is... Uh... It was either yesterday or today. That's how sleep deprived I am. That there was one that had a. It was a group of two spear guys. I don't know where that was. It's a helm. Okay. Either way, I need to go and kill a bunch of rats after this. But it. So stupid. It's utter nonsense. It... The funny thing is that most of the DLC weapons aren't even all that good. That 
previous DLCs tended to have a lot of very overpowered options. And th it's actually not really the case here. And a lot of that is because... The Elden Ring DLC was originally two different DLCs. But contrary to a lot of people's beliefs about the subject, it wasn't as in two different expansions and areas being added. It was one DLC that added areas and one DLC that just added the weapons. So it's really just a bunch of weapons that were originally meant to be placed in the overworld and in the normal game and more or less balanced around the normal game being put into a DLC as the middling rewards is something that is head and shoulders above literally everything else in the game. It is certainly something. It generally I would say that other than After the brief honeymoon period when it first came out, the DLC definitely started getting a lot of detractors. Especially in comparison to previous DLCs. I mean, no one is going to say that Old Hunters was bad. Or Artorias of the Abyss. Those were for Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1. But there are a lot of people who really fucking hated the final boss of this one. Especially since... It didn't make all that much sense. And it was plainly at least partially a vanity, a vanity thing for the director. Which again, probably makes it good that the director is explicitly interested in passing the torch to other people, but... It is what it is. Either way... I'm not really gonna need Mesmer Soldier Spear until I fight Rowana, which... Certainly won't be tonight, but I would at least like to have it as soon as I can. So a heavy weapon and a light weapon, ideally paired of every physical damage type, and I think that's all I really need in terms of weapons. There are other good ones like upgraded martial arts and even better paired swords, but those are literally an end game, so not exactly all the concern with them. Okay. Uh, should drop eventually. After 25 instances of killing that bastard, it should drop eventually. Mathematically. At least we have access to Dragon's Pit. That's some consolation, I suppose. I mean, some access to Jagged Peak, Peak because that's from Dragon's Pit. That dungeon is just a gateway to Jagged Peak. Okay. But, you can work things out pretty well. I what? Fuck you. That was the spear. And there's a good chance it was, honestly. See if it's any drop at all. But. I tried to go for the repost follow up. And it just didn't proc. I guess I was too far away, or maybe I attacked too quickly. What is really, really weird to me is that you have to wait a bit until after hearing the sound effect for a stance break to actually do a repost. Which is legitimately very strange. It's a sort of. Okay, but why? Okay. What? Just permanently stun locked. Kill yourself. Go to hell. <sighs> One thing I could do, and I think it'd actually be better than equipping the Great Shield Talisman, especially since I'm deliberately dying. This is a suicide run. I should put on Bull Goats. It's for the extra poise, so they can't knock me around as easily. This really is annoying, though. So that's 107. It... Poise is, I believe, though the wiki is... really finicky about this, because Fextra Life is run by blithering idiots. 
but Effects for Life is simultaneously the best wiki for most Souls games and a literal Twitch botting scam. And I'm not kidding. It largely exists to basically bot views for the Effects for Life Twitch channel so they can get revenue. So whenever you open up a wiki page, it automatically opens this stream. And that is largely the only way they get money. And it's routinely inaccurate, incomplete, and stupid, but they're usually... Anything else for Souls games is usually worse. In part, just because they dominate the medium. It is what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's use that cutscene. And hope that something drops. Just more smithing stones. Okay. Just want that spear. Please. But, as you can see, having that talisman to boost poise helps me pick up whatever drops and go for that repost, even if they're actively attacking me, so... That's nice, I guess. But what was really annoying about that... The Ancient Dragon Man fight earlier... Was that... The area outside the boss arena... Uh, right outside the boss log is a complete dead end. You can't actually leave that area... Without just going through the boss log. So even if you quit out to try to ditch the boss fight... You literally can't. You just get right outside the boss bug with no flasks and no health and you have to either win or die to leave the area because it's still part of the dungeon which means you can't teleport out it the fact that you can't teleport out while in dungeons in elden ring is really weird nonsense it's a very baffling decision because it has no precedent in the soul series any time before that, they, that, they have a way, that they've had a way to teleport, and they've always had a way to teleport. They haven't had maps, but they've had ways to teleport, honestly, ways that are arguably more convenient in the sense that you can use them during boss fights d while you're in combat to ditch combat if you get enough distance. But there's nothing like that here. No item, no nothing. And if you can't quit out, well, you can't quit out. If you're trapped, you're trapped. Okay. Dropping a lot of their armor. I want that spear. Okay. What is weird to me is just... We found Egon, the... Dragon Communion Bale... Uh, dragon Communion Ahab guy who... Wants to kill the funny dragon. Who yells a lot. But I couldn't make him do anything other than yell. He didn't progress his dialogue, even though we went and killed the Ancient Dragon Man. Which is the only way to Jagged Peak, to my knowledge, anyway. Which is where you fight the dragon. Okay, well... Alright. This is what we got. All we have is... Boost my drop chance. Boost my arcane to boost my drop chance. It, it's certainly something. That's all I'll say. <sighs> Gotten their axes a drop a number of times. It sucks, but we, we got it. Alright. And again, no item that time. There is a very real chance that... The spear's dropped, and I just was unable to pick it up. <sighs> okay. Uh... Okay, okay. I 
I have something to say later. In private. Okay. Just a smithing stone, but the boys helped. Didn't even need to go for the little brief period of invincibility. We were just able to pick it up and then die. That poise helped. So the stomp doesn't do much damage. The main issue is stunning you to go for the follow-up swing, but... Come on. So yeah, that spear on free. So yeah, the spear on free. I really, really... Suffer. Once I get this, I'm just farming more rune arcs, and that's it. That's all. That's all I need to do. There's a little more around Egon and that river, but... It'll be okay. But... In terms of challenges... The Death Knight was real tough last time, but I bet deflecting would have worked really well against it. I tried deflecting against the Ancient Dragon Man, and part of it was that it was basically a player-style boss. It was a humanoid player model frame basis, holding weapons, and that was the fight. And that does... You know, players are always going to attack faster. But I do wonder whether... I would have been better off against the Death Knight, given how annoying deflecting was to try against the Dragon Man. It probably would have been a bit better, because any kind of non-player model boss is just by the nature of the beast, nature of the game, really, going to be a good deal slower, both in terms of movement and just attack patterns. Meaning, you know, a lot more telegraphed, swings slower too, generally. So I still do want to try deflecting against bosses like Ro Rolana and her ilk, but we'll see how it goes. Well, we got their shield. Hmm. I really want that spear. It's tough. Tough out here. Oh, it's funny that the runes were all the way there that time. Shows you how quick I died, because it sends them back about 15 to 20 seconds. Maybe 30. And that's part to make sure that if you die by falling off a cliff, they just don't just put it at the bottom of the cliff. Okay. And the nice thing is, is that. So I don't have a rune orc up, there's not exactly a real consequence of dying here. But what are level I'm gonna hit by the end of the DLC, given that I spent a good number of the runes I've gotten just on leveling up weapons. And that's nice except for the fact that a lot of them don't end up really getting used. And then a lot of ones just lost by dying. But Making the boss fog outside Ancient Dragon Man something you just cannot come back from is real dirty. Real dirty. It dropped a bunch of smithing stones. <laughs> no spear. Just makes me think. Just makes me think. You know, sometimes... Makes you think. But those Morth ruins are over here. And we just can't access them right now because you'd have to go from Shadow Altus. And to be fair, I can get to Shadow Altus with that Spirit Spring Unsealed, but it's raise the chance of going near Shadow Keep and therefore breaking a bunch of NPC quest lines at once. Which is very kind of strange that they let that happen, honestly. But whatever. Uh. 
It... They can drop the spear. I imagine they can drop the spear. It's just, the wiki says, and to be fair, again, it's Vexter Life. Vexter Life is stupid. But any Mesmer soldier with the spear should be able to drop it. And it's a low chance at base, but... And nothing even dropped that time. 2% chance at base. It's a little over a 4% chance with all the talismans I have and the arcane, but again, it still means a lot of farming. <sighs> really, 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 really. But. At least Dragon Man, once I settled my strategy, which was just doing jumping heavy attacks with Bolt of Grand Sacks, instead of actually using the projectile form of Bolt, it actually went pretty well. But it took a couple of tries to figure that out, and those tries were basically just me... Well, the first one was me thinking, okay, I'm out of health, let's... Out of health regen, let's quit out, and I was able to run away and quit out easily enough. And then I realized, oh... The area outside the boss fog is literally impossible to go back to a side of grace from because it's a pit that you just drop into from above, can't climb out or anything, and when you quit out you just get sent there, sent to that pit, so the fog will out at the bottom of that pit outside the boss fog. So it's just, if you're in a bad position you just not, we got it! We're free. Okay. There we are. Thank you, God. Okay. So that's gonna be my... Heavy piercing damage weapon now. Check that out. The... Mesmer Soldier Spear. Weapon used by the soldiers who serve Mesmer the Impaler, a great spear with a seal blade worn from use, being made for overwhelming onslaughts attacks with this weapon can be charged in at least consecutive strikes. Interesting, and it it's real long ranged. Compare that to Stitcher. It's also a piercing weapon. Well, I could just put spear on with Stitcher. Now, I'm just gonna go get a bunch of rune arcs from rats now, and it. It is meaningfully longer. It's also got Impaling Thrust. Hmm. Charging it up. Consecutive. That's decent. And this... It's a spear and it's big. It's one of only two actual infusible Great Spears. But... Hmm. Much to think about. I won't really be using it until I go for Rolana. Because it's a heavy pokey weapon, which means it worked pretty well with deflections, which again I would imagine would work decently enough on Rolana, I would hope. Given that as a non human model boss. She should be a little bit slower. Hopefully. So the time has come to just kill more rats. It always comes back to this. Killing a bunch of rats in this one cave for rune arcs. It... I wish I didn't feel the urge to do it that I do. Because it's a pure grind. It doesn't get runes, but to be fair, that honestly is good because it means I'm not just grinding a bunch of runes. But. Or just all metal shields in their class. All medium shields. 
but it's still bothersome. Yep, and even though Overworld, even though Overworld doesn't have Shadow Tree Blessing and Druid Spirit Wash Blessing even do anything, displays it in your menu, not in terms of your actual AR, but it shows the level, but it doesn't let you upgrade it from Overworld Sets of Grace. Which makes sense, I suppose. I'm sure there's a lore justification for that, but still. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I? That last short that I put out about TCG got good views. You know, the, the new look helped. And... That was while being just literally TCG, which is niche even within its own game, because it's a game within a game. It's literally a mini game. So I definitely think I should try putting out some more of those Genshin shorts, hopefully. We'll see what happens. Thank you, thank you. Slice, slice. Oh, we got we got a Renark. Nice. I definitely don't want to go to Jagged Peak right now. Depending on how fast these come out, I might like to go to... The little bit... The small remainder that's just around here. Some overlined area that I should be able to cover rather quickly. Looks like a mausoleum there. I... I'd like to do something else other than just farm a bit and suffer, so... So the Putty Hewis... It's an interesting option, but it is a base game weapon. And I really do want to avoid using stuff from base game as much as possible in the DLC. It... Armor would be an interesting idea. And I did go and kill the Black Gel Knight as quickly as I could so I could get his armor. But it's just not as good as Bullgoat. Which makes me really sad to say. Because I was getting some mixed messages from some tables, some spreadsheets I looked at, about whether it was better than Bullgoat. And I think when I was saying it was better, I was probably misreading values, that it was marking basically percentage negation per weight point, basically, instead of just total resistance. In other words, that it would be more efficient, but not as defensive in total. So that if weight was not an issue, it would be the best option. What is interesting is that there's armor in the DLC that is, at least in theory, just a better version of Bullgoat in some ways. And that's slightly lighter and mostly has better resistances. But a couple of the resistances are ever so slightly worse. And also, you, only, you don't get until the very end of the DLC, more or less. Unless you want to basically ruin an NPC questline by aggroing someone early. Which is a bad idea for a number of reasons. But. It's interesting. It's worth a thought. Okay. But either way, I do have Mesmer Soldier Spear now, and that is nice. Like I said, I'll definitely try using it along with Deflex against Rolana. Should be fun. But I do think I'll probably go and try to kill Bale before Rolana. Which will be interesting considering that Jagged Peak is... It's not endgame endgame, but it's sort of medium to end in terms of DLC. Kind of like a two-way, two-thirds away through, I'd say. It's interesting to think about. Okay. Move on session. Okay. Thank you. Go through here. We got one. A couple more would be nice. Do want to poke through that a little bit more, but... Do you think that Jagged Peak will be more or less next on the menu next time? Because it really stands out and... Fail stuff is just cool. Undeniably cool. That said, it'll be interesting trying to resist his attacks because notably Bale deals both 
fire and lightning damage. No, to be fair, Posidious Axe is actually the same way, but with Posidious Axe, it's spread out between attacks. He has attacks that are fire and attacks that are lightning. Whereas with Bale, generally, his attacks are dealing both at once, which means that if you want to stay through... If you want to tank his attacks or reduce the damage, you've got to have precautions for dealing with fire and lightning. Which means a talisman that reduces both. A spell that reduces both. But of course you're not going to be able to reduce the same portion of it in total for the same amount of spell casts, spell buff slots, because some buffs are incompatible, talisman slots consumed, as you would with just... Being able to reduce and focus on one time of damage. It is what it is, but... Hmm. At least the swords are fun and fast. Not as much range in a pure sense as... Bloodhounds or the other great katanas, but... They do the trick. The fact that they're fast probably helps. The main thing is that when I was using Bloodhound Spank for this farm, I was able to... Go for a jumping attack. And, and the strong attack still takes out the big rat. I was trying to use the light attack with these earlier, and it was oftentimes falling short, not just in terms of damage, but oftentimes in terms of just hitting it at all. That was a bit annoying. But having to maybe once I get to 40 in every stat, which would be well, 40 more levels, more or less. I could countenance the idea of just no longer really relying on Runarchs. But, and to be fair, it's... Bold of Grand Sacks isn't even all that amazing. And that's what really keeps me, just... It's 40, de 40 dex requirement to use. I can't do that without either a Talisman or a Runarch. And only one of those keeps my talisman slots open. And it's very plainly not the rune arc. I mean, very plainly not using the talisman from her decks. It... Micromanaging is... Necessary, but... Past a certain point, it's not fun anymore. Say that as someone who oftentimes kind of enjoys it. Okay. Well, oh, alright. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, all those runes. It really is just the golden runes. I probably want to save bonging up smithing stones for the Mesmer Soldier Spear for later, but we'll see. In the sense of I could spend a bunch of hard runes, quote-unquote, as in rune items that can be turned into liquid runes, rune count now to level a soldier spear, but it's... I am not in a particular need to level it at the moment. It's like I said, it's basically for Rolana. The dragons down in Jagged Peep might be weak to piercing, but... I want to be using the Dragon Hunter's Katana anyway. Because by virtue of having a big anti-dragon bonus, even if it deals slash damage, which is generally not good against dragons, throwing a projectile for just FP with relative speed is a good way to aim for the head and take them out that way. It's interesting. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Okay. Over here and still no more Renarks. Two more to get up to three, which is about as many as I feel like farming to have in stock. Okay. But the backhand blades really are just cool. It's a shame that getting the Falks, which is basically just a better version, is something you can't really do until more or less the end of the DLC. Said so I think I will hopefully be able to do it. 
before I take on Maytir, who's weak to Slash and slow enough at using the Falx's skill, preferably with a bit of a weapon buff on it, would actually be a good way to handle her, but we'll see. Chances are honestly low. Especially if I want to do things as early as possible. But it depends on what Shadowkeep locks off, because I don't think Shadowkeep locks off anything spatially. The big thing is that Mesmer... Mesmer's also weak to Slash, but of course... Unless I want to just kill Hornsent the next time I see him. Uh, I'm not even sure that would work. I would need to... Just kill him and break his quest line and get the Fox. Which is, again, basically a sort of slightly special version of these backhand blades. See what happens. But I really would like a few more rune arcs. That's all. Uh, where's that? There is that rat. And doing this in the dark definitely saves a bit of time, but you never know. Maybe I could go down and just try killing one little dragon with that dragon hunt is great katana. Just to see how much of an effect it has, maybe. I don't know. Here's a good kill. Pretty solid. But... I wonder if the drop rate on rats here is different. Some of the rats in other spots. There are rats in Stormvale, and I... Wonder if they drop more Runarchs or something. Back on my mage playthrough, I would go through that area a couple of times, trying to get through Stormvale, the little rat cellar. They actually dropped a couple of rune arcs, and that was with no boost whatsoever. I wonder if the game just senses when you're actively farming or something. I feel like that's a bit too sophisticated for them, honestly. Not sure if that's even within their capabilities. Who knows. Alright. Go down and go for another slash. Really is just silly. But in the end, it... It's only a minor consolation, because, you know, rune arcs are still something that I have to farm if I want them, and I really do want them. But at least... The soldier spear is dropped. And that would have been... That's something I would legitimately... Maybe not needed needed. Honestly, the rune arcs are probably a bit more necessary, but... It's something I wanted for the sake of Poistel Experimentation. Let's see what happens. Come on. Where'd that other rat go? Oh, that's right, I could just be locking onto them. Because unlike in DS2 where... Darkness reduces your lock-on range. It does not hurt you at all here. Okay. 229 item discovery, which means... Everything has a slightly more than double chance to drop as opposed to being... Well, actually, slightly more than double because... More or less, the lowest your item discovery is going to get is 108. 107, I, 106, I think. I think that the lowest arcane stat you can have starting out is 6. So if you never level your arcane at all, you have an item discovery of 106 because your arcane stat is added. Which means, at maximum, it's always going to be an odd number. Because your arcane stat can't, can't get to 100, only 99. You're over there. Slash. Okay. Please give me more. It, it's probably not the way things are meant to be done. But still. Okay. Okay. It's a bit of that light. And that's something. It's still just a golden ring. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Sucks. 
I did this earlier today too. But there just are not, to my knowledge, really rune arcs in the DLC other than the ones that we bought for more use than lust. So many that we're actually getting an okay-ish amount of runes. This is awful. Okay. In the end, it's... Even with all the runes I've lost, it's not even that many in terms of levels. It's... Especially considering the ones that I spent on weapons, the fact that the runes I lost probably would have been spent on leveling weapons. It... was basically one level that I would have had otherwise. And that... What difference is meaningfully made? Not much of any. Alright. Slash. Today is really just not my day in a number of ways. Runarks aren't really dropping. What do you know? <laughs> eh, that was funny, actually. So as soon as I say runarks aren't dropping, maybe I need to complain more and more loudly. Thank you. Luckily, oh come on. You know, you can see they just deal basically no damage to me, which is funny. Come on, come on. I, though to be fair, ten of those would kill me. Though honestly, in a way, that's actually unrealistic in my favor. A rat that big would probably kill anyone in just one bite, honestly. I guess depending on where they aimed. Just... If rats that big existed, and if these are also rats that presumably have the strength of runes, I don't imagine that any real living human could live more than one, no matter the circumstances. Hmm. Okay. I'm going. Look, oh, we got two now, even though that took forever. We got one more. Poke around that upper area and call it a night. Things tend to go a bit long, I suppose, but that's life. Honestly, I prefer that to cutting things off early. Come on. Golden rune. Golden rune. Okay. Resolve in that time. Please, please, please give me another rune arc. Hmm. <laughs> That's... It'd be funny if that same position rat dropped another rune arc. Oh, I hope for so much. Okay. But it is nice that... If they aren't dropping anything, I can just immediately tell by the lack of the additional particle trail. Helps keep this... Keeps thing... Helps keep things somewhat manageable, at least. It is what it is. Okay. Slash. Golden rune. Chop, chop. Okay. One more rune arc, and I'm free. That's what I said the last time. Okay. It's just... You, know, you think that things won't take that long. Then you die a bunch. It... Legitimately, given how reliant I am on the marks, the primary factor in how long things take is just how often do I die and therefore how many rune arcs do I need to farm to compensate. It is what it is. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Chop. Chop. Up, up, and... Please. It's one more. Is that so much to ask for? Honestly, probably yes. But... The real question is just, what is in that other... What is presumably a mausoleum over... Up top. The southeast part of 
Graveside Plane. And who's gonna be in there, and how should I fight them? Blind Spot might be quite good. Slip Slash could be a cool option too. But that's also something later in DLC, and that's literally Horn Sense quest line, so if I kill them early to get Fox, I don't even think that would work to get Fox. That would mean missing out on Swift Slash, which, to be fair, got significantly nerfed, but still. That one's already dead. Come on. Rat, die. Please. Please. Forgive me, God. I'll stop raging. I won't. Okay, cut up, cut you up, come on, come on, over here, and so much time has been spent purely forming root arcs, forming for a spear, it really does hurt me. Uh, okay. Because in the end, in the end... <sighs> presumably things are only going to get worse. <laughs> Drawn out in the DLC. I... Should probably get used to fighting without the arcs at this point. The main thing about it is... I'm not really using Gronsax, or... Especially not Giant Crusher anymore. And those were the things that really needed high... Stats. Those were the things that were running right up against stat requirements in one way or another, and... Okay, well. There's the rune arc we wanted, so... Kill the rest and... Quit ourselves at this place. Explore a little bit more around Graveside Plane, and that'll be good. Lower Path Waypoint, just a bunch of grave birds, so. Shouldn't be much trouble. Again, the question is just what's in that mausoleum? Put on the hammer. A lot of things I should just put away right now. Okay. Sort the chest. Melee armaments. We'll keep the stone chief sword so we can see the cutscene for it. But stuff is all going away. We'll keep Grant's axe, but neither of those. I guess we could keep the claws. Sure. Okay, now we put back on stuff that actually protects me. Mm-hmm. And great Jarsenal. Thank you. Now we can put some more stuff on. We'll take our staff back. Sure. So do you have anything to say now? Probably not. We did kill Dragon Man, but he still has nothing to say. I wonder what I have to do to actually get him to talk to me. At this point, I think I will have to look it up. Egon. Defeated drops. Peak with Egon. Discover Jack. Okay, you have to defeat the dra Jagged Peak Drakes to make him do stuff. Then either we have to come back or we'll just talk there, maybe. Who knows? Said so I should make another foul foot. That is right. But we need another gold fire fly now, but still. Some of these are definitely twin with ray birds. Might have to sneak up on you. Well, at least lock on makes it easy to tell. Ray bird bracelets. Huh. Broken rune. Stone bracelets with stone with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the gray bird. Gravebirds are ancient golems, but somehow undead. Created a guard, the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Hmm. 
all manners of death drift. So presumably that's why there are Godwin corpse surrogates, as they're called. The Godwin faces in the fog rift catacombs and other places, too. Well, there might just be one more face, because there's only one more Death Knight boss anyway. Let's see what happens. And we got another Grey Bird. Candle sneak up on you and he's a sacred boy to just take you out. Thank you, I... What? Alright. Terrain got in the way again. It's just, it's funny how so many of them are just statues. With... Nothing to them at all. But if they're not, they're actually rather relentless enemies. They're not horrible, horrible, but... Still the point that, given the choice between fighting them and not, I'd rather not. Luckily, they're undead, and that means a single... Sacred Blade Projectile eliminates them with basically no effort expended. Oh, we got a bunch. Hello. Hi there. Well, this... That won't connect. That... Come on... That connected... There we go. It... It's just a better version of Whitney, a proper death, basically. It's kind of funny how that works out. That Whitney, a proper death, despite theoretically being... Having a crazy multiplier and a wide AoE is really slow and literally only hits things that are actively on the ground, which is not most relevant undead enemies, to say the least. Okay. Let's see how this works. Anything up top here or just a rat of fruit? So this is mostly empty. Makes some sense, but it's still. Around that area by Dragon's Pit. There's also stuff down here. That overhang was not a spot we could actually get to from the bottom. Though it honestly doesn't look like that. The appearance made me presume you could, but again, it did not end up being the case. Okay. The broken rune. Yeah, but this little ledge down there isn't really much of anything. It looks like it might connect, but it actually doesn't. It's a bit of deceptiveness in the mapping there. Okay. Let's go up over here around that mausoleum. Also this ledge. Okay. Let's see what happens. Do you wonder how many more grave birds are actually here? So most of them are just statues without any anim- Well, you're there. Hi, and- Oh! I didn't know you could just shoot huge amounts of ghost flame out. Casually up- Okay. Can I- There we are, luckily. Jumping strong attack is... Your bane for sure. Okay. Cast this. Hmm. Go down around this way. No, they're grave bird, hello. Toss, hit, good. But it's, we're getting a decent amount of runes back. It's compared to what I've wasted and lost. Soldier Spear. The runes I get from that, again, what is presumably a mausoleum, probably sent on Soldier Spear. See a bridge over there and it's at the top that bail should be. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I think we got a direct hit from that too. All right. It does look like a mausoleum. Big thing is, it seems that Cerulean Coast isn't accessible from Dragon Peak. I thought that Cerulean Coast is down here more or less. I thought that Cerulean Coast would be the way to drag Jagged Peak. I actually did not know or even expect oh, Dragon Spit to be the way in there. It's a big P. 
pillar over there, which is interesting. Got to wonder what it is and what its relevance is. I don't know if anything is relevant about that pillar. Well, we'll find out one way or the other. It... Half of me expects some crazy bosses to jump me. Me to when I get close. I... There's a death bird. I mean, gray bird. There is one singular death right bird in this DLC, to my knowledge. A single one. And this is... Okay, just a couple of smithing stones. This is the loop back to... Here. Okay. So I guess it is just that pillar, more or less. That's fine. But is there a boss here, then? Can I even get onto, into, around it? Suppressing pillar. Oh, I think... This is connected to opening up Ender Elim, I believe. Which means... Not much of anything I can do here right now, but it will be rather important soon. Come on. Stop spinning! I think, though it might just be the lighting conditions making their eyes pop. I think they're special. I don't think they usually have. That ghost flame breath. Maybe in the fights before they were just choosing... Yeah, exactly. Not all of them have the glowing eyes, so that's why... That one can only approach me and attack in melee as opposed to its projectiles, but of course the ones with the projectiles can still attack in melee anyway. They're just better. Purely superior. Anything here? I think this is where we were. Let's... Can we get up top through this? Yeah, okay. Cool. See if there's anything in that suppressing pillar. Probably not. We'll see. I think I'll go kill one Jagged Pete Drake. Just for the sake of it. Suppressing pillar, and that goes... Up, okay, so it just pushes a pillar up. Interesting. Okay. Well. So you can't fall down under, presumably. So... Examine Monument in the very center of the lands between all manners of death wash up here only to be suppressed. Oh, okay. The very center. Some people have used this to try to mark where Land of Shadow presumably is using this cloud more or less. Though it'd be f kind of just shrink stuff down. Lands up weirdly. At best. What's in here? Okay, just an ancient dragon smithing stone. Fair enough. I do want to see if I... If I send this up, is there going to be anything at the bottom? Because there was that one weird ceiling crusher in the fog rift catacombs yesterday. It was interesting. But again, I wonder what the pillar specifically has to do with suppressing it. It's a... Very strange spot to see that. And... Should stop soon. Yep, there was just nothing to it. Okay. That was interesting. I'm gonna go try killing one Drake. See how spicy it is. Alright. Take this katana out. I want to buff up. It was certainly something. Say that much. Let's just see if one of those drakes is something I can handle. Good chance the answer is actually no. We'll get our estimation. And. Okay, it's dark, but we can do that. Alright then. We're over there. Blessing the Ur Tree. Golden Vow. 
probably golden lightning fortification maybe maybe flame I actually don't really know okay well, we two hand this and charge up that weapon art oh hello I was not expecting that I don't like that oh okay hmm Oh, goodness. Well, you do have lightning. Okay, good. Is that... Yep, you fell down. Nice. Okay, which means we can get the repulse. Oh, this is... Incredible. Now, this is a true Dragon Hunter's weapon. All you have to do is just... Cut, cut, cut. Uh, and it's already stance broken. Imagine how good that would be with the stance here. This is fun. And, oh goodness. Okay. Well, alright. Let's heal. Maybe I should have horsed it up. Yeah, horse that up. Just need one more. I, oh my goodness. That was stupid. Didn't think that would block me the way it did. Let's run in. Cavalry charge. Goodbye! Eh. Maybe I should have had a Falfa for that. Dragon Heart and Dragon Skill Flesh. Huh. I wonder if Egon will have anything to say about that. Either way, I definitely... Next time, I'll go craft a couple more. Craft a couple more of those funny Falfi. In the end, this should be enough for the spear. That's what's important. Well, he's not here anymore. So I suppose he's moved on as well. So we'll see him again, presumably, somewhere in Jagged Peak. So next time, I think I'll explore around this river. Which is not much, just a little river up here and then Jagged Peak. Should be. I think we can quickly buy some materials to level up the Mesmer Spear. So I'll do that. Just to have it when I want and need it. But. This is a real fun weapon. All you gotta do is spam the weapon art. In that case, maybe I should have had. Something like Shard of Alexander. That would make it even better. That's 25. Is it 15? It's 15% damage boost, which, yeah, defense is usually better, but still. Could have been interesting. Buy a few more rocks. And make that spear better. Got a good amount from just killing soldiers, too. So we should be in a good enough position here. We'll see. Might have to pop a couple. Maybe. But, in the end, it's... I only need rune arcs. I mean, runes, really, for leveling weapons and buying stones to level weapons. It... I'm already arguably overleveled, and while I do feel that there was, I wouldn't get much more from levels, because I'd have to level up everything as well. Let's make this spear nice and strong. Should be able to do this with what I have. Yeah. Oh, just barely. 5,000 more runes should do the trick. Use that one Shadow Realm rune. Cool. Level that spear up a couple times, and that should be it for today. And on a bit longer than expected. Got a bit angrier than I would have liked, but that's what happens sometimes. So in that case, I think, let's chill out with our buddy Tillier. So we saw, actually, I want to see real quickly whether how the Mesmer Spear was going to stack up to... The Godskin Stitcher, which 
is away right now, but use it again later. Maybe, actually, probably not, but let's see how they stack up. Should be around. Where, where, where? Around here. Okay. Heavy thrusting sword. There, and with quality, that's 745. This doesn't have quality, but it's already the same AR. So I'd imagine that a quality infusion would make it even better. Let's put Impaling Thrust on that thing. My goat. It's worse. That is... slightly better. It switches around the base volume and scaling value, effectively. And that... is better by far. Best by far. Even in two hands. So now... Let's compare 811 and 811 versus, wait, they're actually exactly the same. It's really funny, actually. What gives? Wait, where did I forget to put? Yeah, they just equate to the same in the end. Although it might be because of the better skill, including on strength. Or maybe some weird property of Land of Shadow stuff. 811. 811. No, no. Oh, I'm stupid, stupid. This is 782. I was looking at the wrong thing. I was forgetting how switching worked. 811, 782. Okay. So it's better by a decent amount, yeah. Tiny bit, but still. So. Hmm. It's interesting. Let me just take down that curse blade real quick. See how it does against that curse blade. And then I'll show up Atelier and be well and truly done for the day. At least. So, Elok River and Jagged Peak should be what I do next time. That. Definitely probably wanted a bit more defenses, but that's life. Hi! Okay. Oh my goodness. How'd lock break like that? That was stupid. Can I... What? Huh? What? Huh? How did they not connect? I didn't even jump all that high. Whatever. Okay. Oh. Well, that dodge in a weird kind of way. Come on. And everything here is just ridiculous, but still. Ooh, that anti air deal. Yeah, we. That's decent. Check that on some Mesmer soldiers, maybe. <laughs> See how well it does. It's definitely gonna be better than those stupid daggers. The daggers were interesting, but it's just. So agonizingly slow. Hello there. Normal attack. That's real good. One, two, I, oh my goodness. Don't, ooh, okay, well, at least we didn't get one tapped. Oh, uh, what? These guys are just too strong no matter what. But that works well for us. I guess they're just strong around this area. I need a way to get more Shadow Tree Fragments. Whatever. Get a bit of revenge on their soldiers and also pick up that tiny rune stain that doesn't really count for much. Okay. Poke. Oh, we even poked multiple. Fun. Okay. Two and one spearing. So, this is a good option. It really is. Also, it impelling thrust just feels a bit more satisfying when it's an actual spear you're using too. Oh come on! 
Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Uh, heal. And... Mm -hmm. Poke. Poke. Okay. This so one does not secure a one-shot, but... Doing okay. Alright. I think... Have all the weapons that I could re reasonably want, that I could reasonably get at this point in time. Oh, if you're honestly, the sheer impunity of those throwing daggers, it's not bad. But the damage is just truly pitiful. Oh well. So t Saturday will be oh, like a river then. That's a easy one hit. Cool. Go back to a little Tilia over there. And hop out. Things really left will be the river, the one dungeon I found in that river, and then Jagged Peak. And of course remembering to make more foul feet. But that's simple. So, I, my mood has improved. <laughs> I'll say that much. Thank you to everyone, and yeah, Sandragon. See you.